Where is my video? What's up, Mark? Hey. Uh, hello. Hi, guys. Look at you. Hi. Hey, thanks for coming by and talking to us, man. Really appreciate it. Yeah. yeah thank you brother. We got a friend Bell over here. We got Psychodula. We got Chris. We decided to make a new name just for this show called It Is What It Is. It is, I don't know. It is It is what it is, right? Isn't that what it says? Yeah, that's it. Right. That's what it is. <laughs> I, I I love all the backgrounds. Um, the George Carlin poster is classic. He's my number one favorite comedian of all time. I love about him. twenty years before his times. So this one too. Oh yeah, and <laughs> and he got better. The reason why he's number one on my list is uh, he got better every tour up until the bitter end. And I was just kind of sad that he was not around for these last couple of years. Oh, he would be tripping. He'd be like, "Never had a chance." Do stand up? Go. He's the best I've ever seen. <laughs> Do stand up? Go. <laughs> no, Steve Buscemi. Like you know, like the the guy from like. Mr. Oh, Seeds and like crazy eyes guy. Oh yeah, yeah, no, I know I knew who he is. Yeah. But, what As about a stand up comic, he's phenomenal. I did not know he, he did stand up. He <laughs> does once in a while. Like he'll just like he'll go and do like a crash appearance and if you want to picture a debauched drunk man doing stand up comedy, that's what he is in real life. <laughs> <Chris>. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, by the way, you're gonna you're gonna have to forgive my sniffling a little bit, um, and if I have to blow my nose because I've I've got hay fever and I just mowed the driest lawn on on the world oh mate no sorry i hope you weren't gonna tell us you had fake covid though you know what i mean no 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 no, no. By the way, yeah yeah i'm looking at your shirt very nice yeah, yeah. we're not on youtube so we're, we're very free here <laughs> we're not allowed oh, on YouTube. I, so I, read, I was gonna censor myself all the way through this well, i read no, no, no. about that for two years and uh almost yeah. my channel almost got taken down I don't know how you're still alive to be honest man because i've been struck 27 times already you know what i mean I <laughs> but got, i wasn't very know, careful i got they went through my back catalog yep and, yep yep they yeah. hit me with 11 guideline strikes in 72 hours, wow. and I felt like the the henchman in a movie, you know, the guy that gets machine gunned, and he hasn't fallen yet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You just yeah. turn around, because you know he's going down, right? Going, uh. <laughs> and then the, the one of the guys who was moderating my channel, he goes, you're never going to believe this. He goes, uh, you know, three months later, he goes, the, the strikes are all gone. He goes, you're wow. good to go. And I'm going, what? What happened there? Impossible. You have a YouTube Makes fairy? What? Well, I don't know. People, people <laughs> a lot of stuff. People say, "Well, you know, there's, there's your proof how he's in the agency." I'm just going. Ah. There it is, dude. Freemason. I knew it. I knew Eric Dubay was right. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding, dude. I am I have... raffling I, at the uh, at the conference in October. I am raffling off a. Um, let me see if I can find it. I You're am raffling off a, a 30, 30, second, <laughs> 30 second degree Mason hat at, nice. the, uh, at the conference. So that's gonna be kind of fun. But for real, why, why does everyone keep saying hat? you're? You're Freemason. Why do people keep telling me that? Oh, no, but like... they, they tell me all sorts of stuff. It's not just Freemasonry. They, That's true. Uh, they, most, most of it is because I got so many interviews so quickly. But it's because you I, say yes, right? Yeah, like, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah, I say yes. I go, I go, look, I put my actual email address and my phone number and my physical address out there. Yeah. And, hey, and... Samuel L. Jackson never said no to a part. There you go. There you go, fella. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you make yourself a well, couple? No, people forget that, that interns for producers are so lazy. It's like, mm. go find a flat earther. And they just, I mean, they type in, it's like, flat earth interview. And <laughs> whoever comes up, if, if they find somebody in the first 10 minutes, they listen to me. I, I've heard this from these guys. It's like, yeah, I listened to your thing for like five minutes. It's like, oh, yeah, he's good. Good enough. Bring him yeah, yeah, yep. I get it. Plus, you're like one of the well-returned YouTube you know, right after Professor Dave, right? Every time you watch a flat oh, earth, you get you get Mark Sargent or Professor Dave. Bring that Dave. name into this house. <laughs> Sorry, we all hate him. Professor Dave. You know he's up to supposedly 2.12 million subs. I'm going, uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, but you know 60% of YouTube is AI bots, right? At least. Yeah, it's all AI. More, more than that for you. Think? Yeah, like, right, 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 right. And the, uh, like, being a man who, who got banned after, and I, I was in the top 500,000 in the UK every week. Yeah. Really? And, and I and I didn't even do anything for eight years. Yeah. They they <laughs> they shut me down just because I turned turned around and said that COVID's a lie from from day one. Like, you can't yeah. be saying facts yeah. like that, man. You can't. Yeah. <laughs> I, I I felt so. I I it was bittersweet for me when I when I hit 100k because I was hoping to get my silver play button and then I was looking at like qualifications for getting the silver play button and one of them is you can't no have have anything controversial yeah. on your record. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you bastards. Yeah, you fuck, fuck that. I, I tell you what, I just signed up to, um, I, I, I'm brand new to crypto, brand new. I've only just checked it out. Yep. But uh, I've just literally, uh, half hour before I come on chat, chatting with these guys, I've just signed up to that Hive. 
which which seems to be a good social platform where you own everything on the content. They can't take anything off. You, you know I what I mean? Know Isn't that what Dollar Vigilante runs on his whole platform? Yeah, well, that, I, I was watching him do a chat the other day, and I was like, okay, I'm going to check this out because he's not the first man that's mentioned it to me, and I'm and I'm very much like if if something's been put, pushed to me and it's on my radar, I'm going to have a look at it. Like, you know what I mean? Mm. And it's because like it. And when I, when I checked it out, it was like, literally, you are in charge of every bit of content and the, it can't be removed or, or triggered or anything. And, and, and that, so that seems to be a way forward. It's, still, it's a bit clunky to use still, but like, it'll get, they, it'll get ironed out like everything does. Yeah. Dude, speaking of YouTube, we, we hopped into like the anti-flat earthers blindfolded without knowing what the hell they were. Like we did interviews with, or debates rather, with McToon, MC Toon, Phil Bell, all them people. And now I'm just like, well, there's nothing else the internet has to offer. Yeah, McTool, whatever. McTool. You're I don't McTool. know if you've heard of these people. But like, we're like, oh, I wish I knew what they were before I walked into that and tried to talk uh, logic and reason with them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, yeah. So anyway, what are we doing? Yes. We have no, we have no agenda, man. We, we pretty much wing everything. Relaxed. If we make, I, I, if we make a where, schedule, where, where, we don't stick yeah. to it, so. <laughs> I, I, I'd like to ask you a question, Mark. Where, where, so, um where are you now where's your stance on um uh oh damn i just had the question in my head where's it gone uh gay marriage i'm against it but i'm willing to learn <laughs> yeah i i, I was to give it up it, it made me eyes water 2.8 terabytes I like of the arthur news <laughs> this motherfucker no, no. god damn it chris right, no, sorry, what, what, what's my stance on on, on what again uh after all your trouble, after everything that's been going on with with the flat Earth and like with yeah. because I I, I did I had I am I'm I'm you uh, well like, I'll just put me position that yeah uh, I was taught that the Earth was flat at school huh? yeah? I came from a Church of England boarding school yeah Pri right. public, Church private, of England. private education yeah uh, so we were taught the Bible first and then science afterwards yeah yeah and uh, for the last uh, like I'm fi I was fifty yesterday and uh, for the last thirty years. I've been, and plus I, I had the indoctrination of Star Trek, Star Wars, all of that stuff. Yeah, like, yeah I still had to go back I, to that. I, I totally forgot, and it wasn't until like uh, the well, spring of the year that I went. Oh, buddy. Fuck it, I'm gonna have a look at. I'm gonna have a look at the flat Earth. Sure. And um, it was uh, one of Shane's videos that he he put up, which mentioned Corinthians, which was you have to be. Uh, it's a passage that says you have to become a, a fool to the wisdom of the world, to actually understand the truth. So, and I was reminded of that. And then I had a flashback to when I was at boarding school, my, my preps, prep, preparatory school, like, yeah. And the first year was all Bible studies. And then we went on to physics, biology, and chemistry. And right. none of that featured anything outside of the realm of real physics, real biology, <laughs> no theory. And we never, ever looked to the sky, to the sky or anything like that. So, uh, so, um, dude. Oh, I can't. So, so my, my question is like, uh, uh, and I saw I saw you on on the net Netflix video. That, that sure. I, I ended up watching that. I ended yeah. up watching that with my mum. Yeah, two years ago. Yeah. I was like, mum, and I was taking the piss, mate. Yeah, I was like, these flat earthers. I can't find none of them. They all go, oh, watch this video and watch that video. And with my head, I'm like that. No, if you're telling me it's flat, I want you to tell me why you think it's flat. Not go. I'll go and check this out because that's me saying. That's you telling me you don't really know why it's flat. Here's right. some other smarter guy that I appeal to. He he'll, he'll tell so, you what I think. <laughs> so so I, 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 and I was trained. I went. To, I ended up going to military school where I was trained uh, in navigation. Yeah? yeah, and everything's flat. Every every map is flat. Yeah. So I had this memory of of what I was taught at, at my religious studies at school, Christian Christian studies, Bible study, mm -hmm. and then I remembered all my orienteering. And every every time I've done any navigation, and I've been around the world, I've been over the plane as you say course. you know what i mean and uh uh so so i i, I now know I, I don't need all the theory all the fuck any of that so um my, my question to you is like oh it, it keeps coming to me but um <laughs> you're trying to find it aren't you yeah, you yeah. Had it, uh, what, why are you thinking is, how how did, uh, after all of that fucking the the netflix and everything yeah how did Trolls. that affect you at home, mate? Yeah, with you and your mom. Oh, and, uh... oh, oh, oh. Um, there were, well, I mean, there were some immediate repercussions, obviously, within the family. I had to warn people ahead of time because we didn't know, I mean, 
all these productions are often often misleading in that like the, it wasn't a netflix production for example right uh it was just a small hollywood film team that shot it and eventually sold it to netflix you know oh, netflix right. had nothing and netflix didn't oh. green light anything they, they right, were like right. hey is it, is it resonating in fact that netflix didn't even pick it up until everybody else picked it up so like amazon and youtube red and itunes they picked it up first. right Right. So, see, I, I'm I'm brand new. I just, see. I'm I'm new to the uh, the outskirts of the story, and I just thought when I saw that with, with your mum and everything, like, yeah, and I'm quite close to my mum. I don't see her that often as as I should, but I was like, yeah. I sat there with her, and and I've been speaking to her on the phone, and oh, she my... phoned me the other day actually, and she went, Gary, you, you know about the flat Earth? I think you might be right, and I was like, <laughs> she's, coming, she's coming in from a different well, angle. You know what I mean? And she's in her seventies, yeah. like you know, so so yeah. it, it really resonated with me it, that she she came with it like we both sort of started looking at it at the same time but i haven't seen her for a couple of years we've only chat we chat on the phone regularly yeah. and then it was like now we come to this and i was like wow fucking i, I wanted to hear how it affected you and your family and that yeah um really. yeah yeah half of my family uh i mean you remember that that 90 percent, maybe a little bit less nowadays uh of our community's members are, are in the closet they're not going to tell anybody yeah. so mm -hmm. i had family members saying <laughs> Oh, you know, cousins. It's like, oh yeah, I'm right there with you. Yeah, yeah. Don't ever. I'm. I'm not gonna. If you try to hold me to this in a court of law, I'm gonna deny it, of course. <laughs> but I'm. I'm with you, and I get that from celebrities and everybody else. The, the the family reactions were pretty much the same as other people I've met outside the family, which is you had people who are like, nope, I'm not with you. you. Got people that are like, yep, I'm with you, but I'm not gonna say it out loud. And you got the other people, the the rare people, would be like, yeah, when's the next conference? Yeah, right. And, and, <laughs> But but no, for the most part, my uh, my family was split uh, again, maybe seventy thirty against, right. which which I which I understood. Um, but I still had to warn them. Okay, wh why I got myself into trouble? The big problem was my sister, because we she my sister was at a Tom Petty concert before when he was still alive, and and while he was gone, the the film team we wanted to go visit. They didn't know she was gone, and so we shot some of the scenes next to her house. Right. and didn't tell her because it was like, <laughs> we, didn't, we didn't know that the, the, the movie was going to do anything 99 percent of all films go nowhere they, they yeah. you'll never see the, the light of day no one even hit streaming and so all of a sudden this thing gets picked up on netflix and it's like oh god and then next thing you know some of my sister's friends are messaging her saying oh yeah i saw your house in the show blah 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 i'm going then she's like what show <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Was this the show with Bob Nodell? Is that where they got the whole fifteen degrees per hour? Is that the same the same hack job show? Yeah, yeah. By the way, this is my buddy Cracker. He comes on a little bit late. My good, my good buddy, my advanced flat Earth muse over here. <laughs> Just so you know, Mark, we we we've basically talked, and you're about the only sane person from that flat Earth video who we don't think is crazy. <sighs> well, we would never talk to Bob, man. No, no I mean, Bob, Bob's, actually, <laughs> Bob's actually not that bad. He, of course, made the 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 rookie mistake that it's like, oh yeah, by the way, you're wearing a microphone. <laughs> yeah, that's the impression Bob, I got. I was yeah, like, no, Bob, no. Um, <laughs> but Patricia, Patricia was too worried about when when you're that when you're like someone like Patricia, you you're too worried about your image, and so the trolls just got to her. Jaron, yeah, right. I don't know what the hell's wrong with Jaron. Because he like he flaked out on some media things and there was no reason for it. I mean, he missed some some big things mm. and it's like I don't know why. Matt Boyland is crazy. The the guy you know the, the Canadian guy <laughs> yeah, was like yelling. Yeah. There was yeah, this crazy. line which which you didn't see in the film <laughs> that I loved so much, which was after the film, he's he he made this video and he's ranting on air and he's going, I called up fourteen different attorneys and I told them. It's like that that all these people had stolen flat earth from me and no one's calling <laughs> me back and I don't know why. <laughs> but go, you know, I don't know, because that's the message you're leaving that yeah, somebody yeah. stole flat earth from you. Because <laughs> that that's, comes off as dude, perfectly. That, that's dude, kind of the vibe I get from Dubai. Can, can you it's give flat earth back, it. man? <laughs> I, I don't I don't wanna live in I don't wanna live in your pocket anymore. Like can you stop, please? Just just give it's it back. So to, people, don't be that the, guy. The, the, <laughs> he pissed off the producers so much. They had to put that little blurb in there that Matt would have been, you know, that he asked for money up front and um, and percentage of the gross. And then at one point he said, but he said that one of the conditions was that the movie condemn me as a, as a government agent. And it's like, what? what? <laughs> I mean, that was, it, it reminded me of that Steve Martin joke from years ago um, where he said, okay, this is how you get out of a bank robbery. You make three demands, right? And he goes, million dollars in cash. 
getaway car and the letter M stricken from the English language, right? <laughs> he goes, and he goes, you got to make one of the demands absolutely crazy. That way, <laughs> you're insane. And he laughs, but here's the punchline. He goes, he laughs. He goes, getaway car. <laughs> <laughs> but, but Matt was like that. He's scared. I remember showing these guys a clip of Matt just ra raging against Amazon or, or Google or something like that. And and what and the director he goes that's one of the most terrifying things I've ever seen. <laughs> he goes, I'd love to use it, but there's no way we can use it. He's yeah. just, yeah. But but producers just kept calling me, and I was getting this this guy like in the class would like pass notes between people, where they'd be like, you know how demoralizing it was to to, to have somebody call you up and say. Yeah, this flat earth thing. So, do you know how to get a hold of Matt Boylan? <laughs> no. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I can get a hold of him. He's not going to talk to you. And then <laughs> Just so got to write his uncle, Ted Kaczynski, a letter and uh, ask for his phone number. Hey, hey, hey. I'm not going to hear any bad things about Ted. Here's why. After, I didn't know much about Ted Kaczynski, but when I watched the five part miniseries uh, with the guy from. Um, Avatar, the good guy from Avatar, I can't remember his name. The actor. Oh, basically yeah. someone like me. His driver's license, no bank account, I don't own anything. Ted, Ted when, when they got to the point where he was, you know, not only did he attend Harvard, you know, he became a, a professor at Harvard before he lost it. But while he attended Harvard was one of the early, early um, introductions to the MK Ultra program by, C by the CIA. And they weren't even shy about saying it. It's like, oh, yeah, we brought them in for, you know, because it's high-level intellectuals. It's like, bring them in. Let's see what we can do to these guys. I had no idea that, that he was going to turn, you know, turn that way. And so when I, when they finally, you know, got to that point in the, in the show, I just laughed and I left. It's like, I go, my God, it's a Hollywood movie. You built this guy. This is straight <laughs> out of so many, you know, CIA. As somebody who took wrong, a lot of wrong. psychology courses, you would be surprised how many people will come in for $25 an hour and participate in an experiment, not knowing what is happening to them yeah. for $25 an hour. Like you're literally giving them a hundred bucks and they'll let you fuck their head. <laughs> yeah, you, you conditioned this guy and then you were surprised that you couldn't catch him. And like, the only reason you caught him was he, he, he caved in, you caved into his demand. I mean, you published his manifesto. That's the only reason you got him. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. And he's and, and he's still alive. He's still out there. Anyway. Dude, that's a good question. Who else? <laughs> anyway, so so I'm sorry. Back back to your thing real quick. Uh so my family pretty much, you know, split here and there. Friends, same sort of thing. Uh, uh people I've talked to, you know, celebrities were the big one though. Celebrities most of them will not come out of the closet uh right. because yeah. the, like, the celebs that not. did got wrecked. You know, Kyrie Irving forgot. I mean, of course, you're 25 years old. You got a championship ring. LeBron's your friend. And it's like, oh, yeah, Earth's flat. What are you going to do to me? It's like, dude, <laughs> no oh, idea. Yeah. <laughs> Everything. Yeah. It's like the, the media doesn't forget shit like that. You're good. They're yeah, going to come into the locker room. Bitches, man. Mark, the problem that we're dealing with right now is oh, like, 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 across, across the board, we're fighting against globalism, the pandemic, all this WF shit. It's all part of globalism. Yeah. And the way to destroy it is to destroy the globe. They've built all of this. <laughs> on that that's what they call it. They call it globalism. Yeah. That they took so long to hit me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They call it the globalist. Right. So somebody, so somebody turned around to me because, like, I, I, like, like, like you're saying, I'm literally fresh out of the closet, Mark. Yeah, yeah. I like, I, I, <laughs> I did a video, and I, I, because I've got, they, they smashed That's my channel. Like I've, got, I, I, I've got quite a following, like, but it's sort of just messed He's apart. He's a fucking like, yeah? pillock, you know. He made like, fun I, of me I, for partying at fucking church, and then here he is coming out of the closet. <laughs> Hey, no. Just because hey, I'm, I'm not charging hey, I don't, I don't <laughs> It's okay, no, you too. The closet, the closet door is made out of all kinds of wood, all right? All kinds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, but not so, on YouTube, so like, no, we don't have to censor. The first time, I, I, the first time I really looked at it, yeah, where where I'm I'm working at the moment, I, I have to go up a really steep hill, and sunset was the sun's been coming across across the the, the clouds, yeah. and I literally saw the local sun. I saw. Like literally, I made a video because it's coming out like a pyramid from the sun all the rays yeah. through the clouds. Capacular rays. And I'm Dude, sitting there and I'm sitting there going, "Okay, guys, why is those why is those rays coming from those clouds there? <laughs> and of those clouds there. <laughs> Refraction fairy, yeah. It's so fucking far away. Um, it's there. 
yeah, yeah. And, and that's that's when i was like okay I, i've been on this planet long enough now yeah that i have to believe my eyes and i've been taught physics and i don't do theory i stay away from fucking theory because like theory is what caused covid you know what i mean <laughs> um, yeah, and, and, and we, we've been lied to all our lives about everything and this so when i started talking to my mate about it because I, like, I was like i'm going to put a video up about the local localized sun and he's like what are you talking about i said well I, mate, I, I know that I was taught the flat earth when I was at school and I was and I, and I was watching this guy wear a video where he met, met this old bird and she was like, yeah, I'm 109. And like, yeah, I was taught flat earth. And I was like, oh, fuck yeah. me, so was I. She's not. <laughs> like, fucking, so, so, and I say that to him and he's an old, he, this dude, is, he, he was 68. He's another Virgo, like, yeah? yeah. He was 68 last week. And he turned around to me, like when I first mentioned it, he goes, well, Gaz, the thing is, mate, yeah? That is the ultimate question and the ultimate answer that you, you you answer that that answers everything it destroys everything yeah. and like and he and i we i'd never even mentioned it to him before and i was like fuck me mate you know what i mean right. he goes but i'm not going to talk about it <laughs> <laughs> well dude we've already been ostracized by this point for everything else that we didn't give a shit oh, about mate, being yeah, ostracized I, I for flat born, earth at this point like who cares sheet, mate. i'm like right. that fucking yeah, yeah i'm blacker than black mate Come but on, dude on, your on. your son video came suspiciously after our first debut with this group first did a first interview talking to dave weiss man that was the first yeah, time yeah. we well, ever did that, anything. That was it. Well, I changed. Did we? Did we catalyst you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that, did you see the picture up on, nice. the, on your? That, that, yeah. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know. That's I made my, it from you. That, yeah, yeah. That, <laughs> that's the video that, that I made, and I put, and I, I found a, a, the pyramid of, of the Uriana you know, Horus, and I transferred it over the top. Yep. Uh, so, yep. so, 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 what, 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 what do you think of the sun, then, uh, Mark? I know that the pyramid on the back of the dollar bill has a sixty-six point six per um, degree slope angle. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that that also describes diminishing perspective. If you look at it, it describes diminishing perspective. It's actually like a depiction. That's cool, dude. Did I, it, anyone watch the Belly of the Beast video I just put up recently? Yeah, yeah, yeah I I it, <laughs> really, really good on symbolism in America and how we're actually, you know, Babylon. Yeah. Director, <laughs> like all, that, all that stuff. Did you watch the director's cut of it or yeah, the original? Yeah. No, I, I found the director's cut after you posted it. Of course, I downloaded it for free and put it on my channels. I told you all this shit's <laughs> Yeah. I paid the twenty dollars. You know what? They put a lot of effort into that. They got my twenty bucks. You're my friend, dude. That counts for me too. Uh, by the way, I <laughs> didn't have I didn't have much of an opinion on the sun when right. I first started this uh seven years ago it that just developed with time with other people i mean there was all sorts of stuff remember that i didn't the clues were very broad strokes and then people yeah. started filling in the the smaller strokes immediately with all sorts of stuff i got called up within the first month and two things they hit me with really fast they said okay um one, you can't use the Orlando Ferguson map anymore because it's perfectly flat. I go, how do you know? Because we went down to the beach with a camera. We shot across water. I go, what's water got to do with it? You know, and they just... <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. The other yeah. thing was they said, uh, well, the Orlando Ferguson map looks like a roulette table. I go, and? I go, they said, a roulette table, if you take all the numbers, you add them up, it adds up to 666. I go, and, <laughs> what? And it's true. It's yeah. absolutely true. And I'm going, wow. Fuck. Yeah, right. the French mathematician who invented it hung himself because he could not create a mathematical system which beat his own game. <laughs> oh. See, I don't know if you're making shit up or telling me the truth right now, Chris. That, that is the truth. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's the other thing. Is like once I got into flat Earth, there was all sorts of stuff I couldn't sneer at. I couldn't make fun of. Oh yeah, the ancient co cosmologists is great. The um, I couldn't make fun of them because flat earth is is by far the most polarizing so anyone yeah. that used to come at me and say oh yeah by the way elvis is still alive normally i'd be like whatever and now, <laughs> now I'm like, yeah, is he show me what you got you have a picture can i see yeah yeah but the thing is you yeah you've got to have your mind open but not so open as it, your know. brain falls out like you know it's a good one this is this is, it's full of trap it's full of so many pitfalls because yeah. like when I was talking, I, I, I was doing a live stream with Shane the other day, talking about navigation and that. Yeah. Oh yeah. And 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 and, and, and he goes, oh yeah, gas, but there, there, there is no South Pole. Yeah. Yeah. And so we're doing navigation. Oh, yeah. A compass comes up, hour and a half derail into what the hell is a compass, and how does magnetic South Pole work? Like... Because, like, because I hadn't managed to visualize in my head like that there is no South Pole. I still had it in my head that there's wherever north is, wherever the north is, the south is pointing, and and I didn't, and I hadn't worked out that. As the magnet there could goes be a around. South Pole, but there's no place in our world where you can go that it will flip a compass the other way. Right. right. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. But that's what I'm saying. It's like we're on a monopolar, as as you said, Chris, the other day. Like it's a, it's a monopolar system, and that that was like. No, it's oh, not. Yeah. It's not. <laughs> but, yeah. 
Uh, we well, okay, dude, 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 dude. Psycho, Psycho's at level one. Let him, let him think it's yeah, monopole yeah, before we like, bring in the Black I'm Sun kidding, shit. <laughs> the, um, the, you know, classrooms, not only do they supposedly talk to astronauts, but uh, like you, junior classrooms here will talk to people in Antarctica every once in a while. And one of the questions that comes up, the kids come up with like, what, is that, what does the compass do in Antarctica? And it's an honest question. And, and the people they ask, well, it doesn't really do a whole lot. It asks, like, what? <laughs> you That's know, what I always ask. Why, why doesn't the compass do? <laughs> yeah, why yeah. Does it, <laughs> yeah. Why doesn't the S just dominate down in Antarctica? And no one wants to talk about it. Well, and there's no such thing as a bipolar sphere anyways. If you look yeah. up physics, there's no dipolar spheres. I it's love that one, dude. I brought that out on some flat Earth debates on some low B Earth globals. They were like, I was like, okay, 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 okay. Show me a bipolar sphere. They went, what? You know, a bipolar sphere that you say exists. Show me another one in nature. They go, Mars. I'm like, yeah, but sh but show me a real one. Bipolar. <laughs> 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 Someone's like an apple. I'm like, no, that's not. By the way, that that that, that if, Shane, that image you have where that bye bye ball in the background thing. Yep. With, the, with the two oil rigs i i've loved using that the last year and a half or so the black swan man that's, that's yeah, the black swan yeah, yeah. i love the black swan oh, because oh. mark <laughs> the original black swan is picture is take a picture of the pyramids with orion's belt open them six thousand plus years still the fucking same explain it that's true yeah that's go. true but there so you, you didn't know so you didn't like so you weren't in the debate scene with quantum eraser and nathan oakley and them cunts talking about <laughs> dumb shit all the time <laughs> like nathan <laughs> Nathan Oakley is one of those guys that just loves to debate. And I, I get it. My God, he's yeah. relentless. Although there's a guy out there, you probably did, haven't heard of him. He was on, a, on one of my things recently. His name's Peter Jarvio. And he, I didn't hear about him because he doesn't film anything. He goes to universities in the United States for a week, right? He gets the permit. He calls them up ahead of time. It's like, yeah, I'd like to set up a table and some easels and uh, talk to people about, flat, you know, whatever. And they're going, <laughs> okay, sure. And, they, and he sits there from like, 9 a.m. till sundown and just 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 hitting people all, you know, all oh. day long and he just he just craves it and he films none of it and so i did by the time <laughs> no one's gonna hear it oh my god yeah, yeah it's like that that madonna line which is like if it's not being filmed warren beatty it's like if it's not being filmed then does it really exist <laughs> <laughs> right in this day and age point. yeah well, uh, but he's but, dropping bombs, though, isn't he? He's just, oh, yeah, he just yeah. He just seeds of freedom everywhere, man. Yeah, just dropping it, like all these universities, and I'm so happy for him. But the flip side is, like, dude, set up a camera somewhere, right? You know, the <laughs> only reason I even knew he existed is like every once in a while you get like a 19 year old do a TikTok video. It's like, yeah. look at this dude. <laughs> he's, like, he's on my campus, and every once in a while he'll run. But you can tell he's hitting people because every once in a while he'll get some people that'll just stand there and he knows they're skipping class he's like oh yeah all the people that stand there for like two and three hours because yeah. i know they're not supposed to be there for two or three hours and <laughs> it's like awesome it's great great that he can get through to people so. dude everyone is making their own waves for what's sure. that man's name yeah, how many people oh his name's uh, his name's peter jarvio j-a-r-v-i-o did you bring oh, him on to do like a video interview yeah yeah i did uh well oh. i did a strange world episode with him which wasn't um uh um uh, it, it wasn't on video, but he's he's going to be doing uh, which is it Clemson University during the conference. Let me look him. Yeah, if anyone wants to get a hold of this guy, I'll give you his contact info. Uh, yeah, he, he gives it out. It's Jarvio PDJ at gmail dot com uh, or eight five nine four eight nine eight five nine zero. We're going to email. Gonna, he's going to be at Clemson University campus just before the conference. Uh, yeah, he's going to be there for four days, five days, October seventeenth through the twenty first. We, we love talking to people, man. Like, oh, have... he's great. If you ever want to talk to a guy, seriously, I'll set you up with his stuff. Seriously, contact him and say you'd like to bring him on and talk about it. Right. He is, I've never seen water go off a duck's back like that guy. Just, <laughs> I mean, just does just they I know there's kids, you know, he says, Oh, you know, they're not so bad. I'm going, I have a feeling it's it's not as kind as you might think. You just don't feel it. Right. You know, you, you know, I can sympathize you, with that mentality. I mean, I did. Three times have I been blocked? <laughs> I did yeah. street, street activism in Dublin, and I was a little nervous about going there for, for that. It's like, it's so, like please, please don't do it late in the afternoon. I actually like, thought about doing that, like setting up a thing, even if, like in front of Kroger's or something, and just seeing what kind of response that I would get. Dude. Because I feel confident enough now that I can argue with anybody. I don't care. Yeah, if yeah it's. You know, what, you know what happens? 
most people, it's, it goes flies right over the head. They don't even know what they're looking Especially at. Especially what Cracker's telling you, because he's high level. Like I said, he heard high level stuff of me for a year. I didn't listen to or understand it until I saw it in a picture. Most of, the people, <laughs> most of the people react like they do for the documentary. I mean, I sat in studio audiences with the documentary. And again, the first 20, 30 minutes, if they know nothing about Flat Earth, they don't even think it's real. Yeah. They, they think... It's like, oh, wow, it's a parody, fake actor, docu-fiction thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All of a sudden, well, I, picked, I picked apart this little physics student. I on thought it was spi Flat Spinal Earth. Tap on fucking Flat Earth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, yeah. Like, so well, you picked apart a physics student? Yeah, and, uh, and all I did was took the um, gravitational equation, F equals G and 1 M2 over R squared, and I just tore it apart. I just nice. asked, I was like, how do you weigh a planet? How do you get that mass? How do you get Forum the galactic scale? I told yeah, you. Yeah, I like that. Got to get your galactic <laughs> scales out. That's how they weigh them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, inverse square law of light, which is what debunks the sun. We, yeah. We've been hanging out in 24 hour Discord, flat earth stuff, and with a bunch of other flat earthers and talking to Glober. So our arguments are, are becoming, becoming honed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's all jargon, the mate. It's people... all jargon. Can't we just keep it simple? It's flat. Well, when I, the first video I did was it's not flat, it's lumpy. Yeah, we like that. We, we, we love that, dude. We use that all the time. <laughs> I don't use that all the time with your quote. I'm like, yeah, right? We steal that from you all the time without credit. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it, it, it's it, it, round. Round. I thought we changed it to bumpy. Anyone who needs to borrow my galactic scale is more than welcome. To <laughs> yes. Return yeah. the same way it was with the Beyond Nudes underneath. <laughs> Oh, what a creep! You and your B Arthur, man. You're who, who, who does Mark think are the worst to talk to? No, I I, I love um the one of my my favorites, which you know most people they they're drawn to the um the long distance photography. My favorite though still is is gravity versus atmosphere. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Gravity has to be your container. Yeah, mm. Well, yeah, it has to be right. And it's like what well, it doesn't work anywhere else. Dip a tennis ball in water and spin it. Tell me what happens. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Uh, they reversed the centrifugal and centripetal effect in nature. Yeah, I know about that too. Yeah, and they won't and they won't admit that uh, the centrifugal force, even if you could say, you know, there's there's some a, a gravity factor, it's like there's got to be, again, if it was real, there's got to be a, a bulge of water, a fat tire or you know, a spare tire of water around the equator. There's there shouldn't this, be any land on the equator. It's imperceptible, well, here's, Mark. Here's, here's the important thing. <laughs> the laws of me. physics are constant within any structure. If right. physics apply, they apply universally. There's no pockets of, of different physics. They like it's not it's not you're under one different system of laws here and yeah, there. So build, me, <laughs> build me a working model of Earth. <laughs> sure. It's funny because they me always show us build more yeah it's flat. Show me a model of everything that ever was then. Wait a second. <laughs> what? I can build you a oh, model of flat Earth because right? it's in this world of physics and it will right. function. You cannot build a globe. You What's cannot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Flat is flat and that is that. Hey, have you guys been um, following the um, uh, the Artemis thing? No, we've been laughing at it. I saw an article from the Babylon Bee that was like, oh, this it was too hard and they're going to fake another moon landing instead. You know, Artemis <laughs> is right. an arrow. You know that, right? I mean, yes, like, yes. <laughs> If you look at the, the original, the original uh, flight path for the Apollo missions, they drew a fucking dick. <laughs> so how stupid are you? You're sucking on NASA wing after all these years? <laughs> that reminds me. Um, hang on one Balls second. In a space vacuum. <laughs> Anyone got stuff to share? You can share. Hang on, I do have something. Do you have? Uh, give me a second. I gotta pull up. You're just like one of us. You just like bullshitting and talking. <laughs> hang on, hey, dude. hang on. I figured he There's... might be cool. <laughs> he Wait, is pretty cool. Who, I like me? Him. Yeah, I'm already judging you. <laughs> like, uh, well, look, look at this here. Show me. So the the Artemis mission. Somebody sent this to me. Um, you know, there's three missions, right? Three phases, supposedly. Uh, where's your chat box? You'll you'll like this. Pull it. Pull it up on screen. Pull it up on screen and share it. This. This was posted on a um, one of the mission sites. Take take a look at this and show up on screen and tell me what you see. You're gonna like this. <laughs> I just saw this yesterday. There's an image. I don't know if you can blow it up or not. When when you uh... is it Chorzo? Who is it? Cartoons. <gasps> cartoons. Uh, I love cartoons. Dude, look at how ass complicated this is. No 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 no. Look at look at the map on the Earth. <laughs> cartoons. Oh Please. man. It's, it's the it's the AE map. Oh yeah. 
<laughs> That's hilarious. The reason they did this is because they couldn't get all the waypoints on the on the globe, so they used a flat map instead. And it's right. Like, because they're only showing thirty percent of the fake globe at any given point. Oh, yeah, man. and then look at um, look at some of the waypoints. Like number twelve. Uh, well, no, you're zoom. Yeah, the, yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> and you'll see this on Artemis two, but you'll see what happens in Artemis three. So point number twelve. If you could scroll to the right a little bit, look at this. So enter distant retrograde orbit for the next oh six to twenty three days. <laughs> That's mighty specific. Go down to I think is it fifteen or sixteen? Go down down a little bit. Sixteen, right? Return transit, return trajectory correction, burns as necessary. Uh, travel time, three to 11 days. I'm going, man, that's a big, big uh, open-ended gap there as far as, you know, what, you know usually it's this very, is, very precise. It's so Not easy right. to explain to somebody. If you take a level, and you, a four-foot level, and you <laughs> set it one-eighth of an inch, or take a two-foot level is better, one-eighth of an inch out, or a quarter inch out on two feet. Yeah. What is it now at four feet? Well, now it's out <laughs> half an inch. When you get to eight feet, it's now out an inch. So right. what the fuck do you think happens if these measurements <laughs> that they are giving are correct? If they're out by an inch. Yeah. An I inch. like how $63 million a day get you that level of specificity. Zoom out, zoom out and scroll down a little bit. I want to show you. Look at phase two. So that's Artemis one, right? That's the one that will not ever leave the path pad, but I'll, I'll talk about that in a bit. Scroll down. <laughs> scroll down. Zoom, oh, zoom out. Back on the site. There we go. <laughs> zoom out and go to... This the Artemis two. So the Artemis two map, same Artemis. sort of thing, right? Right, same same sort of thing. A little less waypoints. Blah blah blah. Go down to Artemis. Same 3. same map though, right? <laughs> yeah, but yeah, same map until you get to Artemis three. Right, go down to Artemis oh, three. Oh boy, Artemis three. Oh, what happened there? There's no more flat map. No, now it's the globe and North America and South America are monsters. the only things that exist. Yeah, <laughs> what is this? yeah, it's only North and South America. But uh, yeah, landing right. on the moon in 2024. Who made that shit up? I, I'm willing to bet. <laughs> my hand. Good, cool cartoon, man. I'm Clapping. willing to bet that Artemis One does not leave the ground. I think they're going to do something to it, or something's going to happen. Of course, they can't possibly have to fake it. Life. On the other hand, I told you, Cracker, we need another trillion dollars. They've got a great special on it. Jimmy Buffett's. We're going to get some margaritas. Jim down in CGI. No, is gonna have you're going to send. No, you're sending Fartimus to Uranus. <laughs> we we always have some good ingoing jokes along. The thing is, we pay each other sixty-three million dollars a day. Our NASA fucks up. And if they fuck up, it's because we didn't pay them enough. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I I don't think that Artemis is ever going to leave the path. It can't. No. In fact, I I've been screaming at this for a while. Which is how can you probably heard if you've listened to any of my stuff over the years. Which is one of the scariest things ever would be if somebody came to me with a dump truck of money and said, "Okay, we need you to fake the moon mission uh, next year." I'd be like. That, I can't do it. It can't be done. There's too hey, many people watching. Right? So what? How many? How, how can you send a balloon to space? Those ships well, are all yeah. Free. But no, yeah. seriously, I'll ask. I'll, I'll, the question fade, goes yeah. to any of you. If somebody gave you a billion dollars right now, could right? you a billion fake dollars? Space? Could you fake uh, a moon mission and yeah. make and, and and guarantee that 100 percent the internet's not going to find you out? Yeah, well, no, you're, 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 so you're offering your the, 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 the answer would be what, I'm not you're only offering me a billion when you're when when we, when there's debts of trillions going on gas. And you want <laughs> me to take the fucking moon landing, mate? <laughs> I need at least triple the debt that Ukraine's got just to fucking get a ship that looks real. <laughs> there you dude, go, dude. Shane's faking space behind us right now with no budget in my basement, so you know. That's some fine, yeah, that's some fine space. <laughs> I don't know, it's pretty close. No the, budget. The web, by the way, the, the, web, the web telescope has been just utter trash. Right? We all know that, though. It's funny, because they present it to us as if they're real, and we go, hee, <laughs> some, some of the stories, let me see if I can find some of the stories I read last night. The, uh, uh, I, was, some... I was watching the Artemis to see if they had, like, new fake CGI that we'd all be blown away by, like, oh, they got something good now, they announced it, they're gonna go back, and they know everyone's watching, and we're not retarded, how are they gonna fool us? Here we go. Right. Nothing. Oh, they quit. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> Look at, um, and yeah, the, by the way, it's not even rescheduled until the next window isn't until uh, third week of October, at the earliest. And it's we like, we knew they would kick the can, no, no, didn't we? Didn't we know yeah. that? <laughs> yeah, people are gonna forget. Look at look at this BS though. Look at this one. So they figured out how to get through the thermos the, the thermosphere and the Van Allen radiation. Right. But... Read somebody read this title out loud once you pull it up on screen. Hopefully we we have on. our resident narrator cracker. Here you go, buddy. Are you paying attention? Are you old guy glasses on? Uh, uh yeah. <laughs> okay, pull pull this sucker up. Tell me what's wrong with this title. Ready? 
Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Narrator. <laughs> <laughs> you make this up in the vacuum. <laughs> in inflatable lunar habitat could keep future moon explorers cozy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, Georgina has no apparently uh, this millennial or Gen Z has no idea about anything in, of anything. It's like what I can look at her face and take that as absolute fact. I bet that's a him pretending to be <laughs> in, inflatable. I bet yeah, it's in, a true <laughs> inflatable. <laughs> Uh, moon tents. Yeah, that's gonna work. <laughs> Holy well, gonna work. Dude, the, the New World Order has us our useless eaters being, you know, you don't get to sit on the planet. You're gonna go outside the planet in the space jails we're gonna make for you. It's gonna be nice. Don't worry about it. Two little cube meters. Yeah. Thanks, guys. I actually had this one article a couple weeks ago where they were talking about cosmic radiation and the relative safety of the Van Allen belts. I was going, safety of the van allen belts even what you what you said years ago was super deadly now it's safe that that's that's your little cocoon of safety i think Living upside down what do we think the van allen belt really is because i think it's the like the ezekiel's or, wheels type picture of the electromagnetic fields that fluctuate around us I, I don't think the van allen belts anyway. well, i think they literally yeah. it up but it looks it's, a lot it's, like it's more bullshit it's just more <laughs> bullshit. Yeah, it's it. it they they can't prove anything. They just say like they, they haven't spent sent sent any spaceship anywhere. Yeah, it looks nothing's it looks all like this, left. dude. Yeah. So yeah. how do they know what's out there? Because nothing's ever left. There That's true. It's all fake. <laughs> but I mean, like when they describe wheels within wheels, it's like it kind of looks like a tourist field too, right? Like that. Sure. If that was the outside. Of if maybe... that, yeah, yeah. The operative word being if. If. <laughs> Here, yeah, here, this is why some... we have to we have to keep it in 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 reality, and the, and the reality is nobody knows what is beyond what we call the atmosphere or the stratosphere. Oh, that's that's and what, true. And and it, for the, 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 and it's not even a sphere. If we if we go back to the video with that uh, Australian geezer or that New Zealand geezer that you found, where he had the stars scrolling, oh, no. <laughs> where it's all planes, so the stars are actually no, all man. on a parallel plane. Yeah, we just can't tell. Yeah? Oh shit! So, so like, it's, it's, this is what I like about that David Weiss geezer. He's like, look, man, there's no point in looking at the sky. Yeah, he's like, there's no point in looking at the sky. He's a geezer. <laughs> You know what I mean? All we can do is like conjecture. You know what I mean? So, dude, yeah, Patricia. Yeah, I know he doesn't. I know he doesn't look it, but you know, David's only six years older than you are. <laughs> Calls everyone a geezer. It, 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 it may, it may it's look like he's got a few more city miles on him. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> dude. I mean, so this I is. Got... I mean, you look you look great for fifty. Just so you know. Well, uh, cheers, man. It's all the drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Better living through chemistry. Yeah, yeah. Dude, uh, so this is this is the model we use for Southern Star Trails, right? But look, Patricia pointed it out as it, you were saying, dude. Guys, it turns flat, right? Check this yeah. out, dude. You can fucking make it flat, and everything works totally fine. If the Star Trails were flat, everything we see would perceive exactly as they do already, with no interruption. How crazy is that, dude? Right? That, that, yeah. The star is on a flat Earth, <laughs> right? And, and and still and still, even though you're showing that, that's still way more confusing than the video what that matey showed us. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's what I mean. I think I think we figured out Southern Star Trails better than most people have been able to articulate it, dude. <laughs> I think so too. A lot of people wouldn't understand. I think we've come up with no. a lot better science than anybody else has. Well, well, just science, science is something that where somebody presents old, like, let, let's check this theory out. Now, does this theory work? Oh, yeah, it works right. on paper. Yeah, well, but does it work in reality? Yes here's or no? How, no, yeah, there you go. That, <laughs> that, when you're that's... talking about, well, here's the difference. In a, you, scientific theories are validated by experimentation. So scientific theories are, are actual representations of reality but when you get into no, theory, scientific theory. Uh, no, yeah but no, hold, hold on a second like, so, so, you know, that's a massive umbrella term, everybody's yeah, talking nobody's listening when i say I, i'm using layman's terms yeah let's not get bogged down in, in jargon yeah i'm using when i say science science is for me you have the science of engineering which is like okay we've learned that if you measure this and you do that and you make it in this structure it will be able to be a crane or it will be able to be a bridge there's that science of engineering now the science that of of physics is it's still measurable none of its theory and, and we have to remember that and what what is flat earth it's all about this physical plane yeah and 
we've only ever we've only ever had presented to us in our lives by the bowers that shouldn't this ball and star mm. trek man i fucking hate <laughs> star trek the star trek's ruined me man you know, i had to I, go back to star wars we I, had a special so many one years I watching star trek thinking yeah, yeah i'm gonna leave the planet and now i'm like that i'm never getting off i'm never getting off and they won't let me even go find out what's no i guess there's no place to go we're at the center of everything it's way better to think about it like that yeah <laughs> Oh, no, yeah, but I just want to see what's over there anyway. <laughs> also, Jeff, welcome to the party, bud. Hey, is he the, the Terra Infinita map? That's a it's an interesting map. It's just a card. Maybe. Thing. Speaking oh. of the guy, the guy who made me think about that was Jeff, right? We wouldn't. Uh, Jeff came into one of my live streams and talked about this thing for like three hours. And I'm like, dude, we got to be friends. If this was real life and COVID wasn't fake, we'd have a beer somewhere and we'd get to know each other. <laughs> like, <laughs> this is what we need to do. But yeah, dude, the the Terra. Have you seen that this map? Let's see, let's see. I think it's the only one that's still allowed on one of my YouTube channels. But that channel's about to get killed I anyway. A, I have a copy of it. I can pull up if you want to show them real quick. Oh, the big oh, one. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I have a big one. You want me to pull it up a month? Hold on. Sure. Yes, please. Thank you. Okay, we we see if uh, we're up there that. Right. Uh oh. Ladder picks. Okay, I know where it's at. <laughs> You saw me scroll through my folder the other day, didn't you? There it is. Okay. All right, let's pull this up. Shit, I, I think, get... oh, I think Weiss, Weiss did a couple Okay, I got it. <laughs> That's wild now. There's the map. And, uh, where... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. this map several right. times. Yeah, I figured. There we are. Jeff loves this one. It's definitely possible. I don't know. That's a greater possibility. I'm not knocking this map. Why the hell would I? <laughs> I mean, it's uh, <coughs> if I if I can be into the that thousand year old uh, Asian map with all the continents that are spread around the out the outside of our yeah, thing, uh, I like that. that one's more real. Um, it's hard to say because I mean it could be a little no, bit of both. It's real. I, there were, there were two things I liked about that map. One was none of the content the the continents were connected. But they were all roughly the size of, like, say, Africa, give or take. Right. Um, and the other thing was is that our islands were sealed by a double. You could see a double layer. There was a, a barrier, um, and then there was an outer barrier, a couple thousand miles at least from the from the like it was double ring on the outside, which I mean, goes into my theory. It's like, okay, are we allowed? To, yeah, that one. Are we allowed to stay? In, you know, are we being kept in? Or are we being protected? Hey, check this right. out. Did yeah, you know this? Do you know it's that? Big. Did you know that Australia has more has less land mm. than the continental United States? The forty eight states has more land than Australia. I did know that. Square mile, <laughs> the square mile, which is like two million or a million and a half miles different. Well, and they tell us that, but they say the largest continent on Earth is Australia, isn't it? But do we know why that is? Anyone? Because no. they like to lie. No, because of this map right here, right? The equidistant azimuthal e equidistant yes. map has longitude lines derived from the Royal Society, which are inha inherently globular, which means that latitudes after the equator, <laughs> after the equator, instead of getting uh, smaller, distance between longitude lines, the distance gets bigger. Like from 70 to 80 is bigger than 60 to 70 all, all the way down, which means that all the southern land masses are freaking warped. That makes perfect sense. Yeah, but, the, right. but well, no, this doesn't see that, that, that those expanding lines that you that you've got on this round map, yeah. Where you don't find them on a navigation map, mate. No, we couldn't even we couldn't find a navigation map, dude. Remember? Well, no, but the, no, any navigation map is a grid yeah, format, a... yeah. And the, I was watching a video where a geezer like that fire rock on on um, bit shoot, yeah. He presented a guy who's not even a flat earther. Who showed the one to one, one point one eight, one to one inch, or one point one inch to to eight miles on any uh, um, uh, ordnance survey map, which you use to travel. Uh, it, it has it, it, you can take it beyond a thousand miles, and it has a naught point naught degree variation from the reality. Yeah, and that is all in grid format. Is there, there is no expanding line leaving, what's the, whatever, uh, is it converging or diver? There is no diverging lines when it comes to navigation. So when you're looking at maps like that, you need to ignore all of those lines that are going like that because that's not how you travel across the plane. It has to be flat square grids. There is no, I mean, there is no curve. 
look at Australia on that map and see how long it is. Australia is actually not as wide as the United States either. The United States is 3,300 miles. Right. Because of these, these are warping the whole thing exactly because they're mapping it out according to these grid lines, dude. When they're drawing the continents on, there. yeah, so we, it needs, we need to get rid of those diverging lines from the center because that's insane. <laughs> well, that's what it looks like, dude. Yeah. I mean, not this warped, but I mean, like the southern star shells, for instance, they get warped and look like they're farther spread out the further south you go, right? Okay, well, I don't know, I've never been there, so oh. Yeah, me either. Although someone on Discord is taking pictures of apparently Sigma Octantis to show me what it looks like, because I'm yeah, thinking yeah, it's we, it's a parabolic yeah, reflection need, of Polaris, we, we, so yeah, it should yeah, be dim-ish. Because like, at the moment it's all yeah. conjecture. Uh, this is what I just uh, I, I find so frustrating about this subject is because unless, unless there's, we we need a lot more people who are living on the what would be on that map the outer circle, yeah, the the southern circle of, of this plane. We need a lot more. Uh, people being in that area going like let's look at this style let's look at that because like there's too few at the moment i mean it's all it's this is a growing uh phenomenon i think the community is going to be growing where you've got more photographers coming out you've got more people doing the visual stuff and that that really assists i i, I think anyway right. hey, by the way that that globe map with the dark blue thing behind it yeah i don't know to this day i don't know who made it and whoever made it never stepped forward to, uh, you know what I don't see is longitudinal lines warping continents on this map, though. Right there, you go. I don't know. I just, the documentary I, team was afraid to use it because uh, they couldn't cite some, it. <laughs> some kid contacted and said, "Oh, I made it." And then they asked me, "I go, dude, nobody knows who made that map. He's never gonna be able to <laughs> never gonna be able to prove it. He never he never stamped it. So you're never gonna, you're gonna find the original. What map's well, that? What, that's what, the that blue. It's the one that blue am, it's in my Telegram background, I think. <laughs> yeah, it's the AE map without the lines with a dark blue C in it. Right, okay. That's it's, uh, it's been used to hold that one. <laughs> that one, all right. It, it was used by Chris Pontius for physical models for a long time, and then he started making his own stuff. And Right. I always like the concept here. that there was a land bridge that connected the bottom of South America to that little squiggly bit on Antarctica. Over here, yeah, right? Yeah, and then at one point, like one of the old versions of this, you could actually walk. You could go from one right. end to the other. It was well. Know, that's well, was, the was, the crazy map we were just looking at has yeah. like a land bridge there, and they titled it like Bird's Passage or something like really, really like on point. That I was like, don't huh? call it crazy. That's not <laughs> map. Well, you know, there was a there was a line from uh, not to, not to quote um, a non canonized book of the Bible, but uh, it was a line from Jasher. I think the end of. Uh, the third chapter where it said that Enoch walked off the end of the world and when he got to the end there was ice and snow and more ice and more snow and I'm thinking yeah that makes sense you know he right. there, there was a there was a land bridge at the bottom I'll, I'll, I, when I saw this map after I after I awoke into the flat earth and we live inside of an egg or whatever or magnetic yeah. egg <laughs> then I saw this and I'm like, hey, Star Trek and Star Wars are still pot. They're back exist. in. They're back in. They're Here back we go. In. Yeah. I was like, yeah, yeah, go yeah, back yeah. and watch the movie because this explains everything. I've never, yeah. I've never seen that map, by the way. Did you get that right there? <laughs> this is the Show one. The full map. This Show is the one we showed map. you. He said you've seen it a bunch oh, of times. Oh, I mean, that's a zoom in of. Oh, oh we so have. I haven't, I haven't oh, seen it all the yeah. We, we have the 80 megabyte full map where we can see every little. Like, yeah. If you go into it, like. You could zoom in that far. Yeah, man, it's mm -hmm. it's it's intense. So we we spent a whole live stream on this. Uh, this guy Nostra, this guy, he put it in his logo on here. I have following on YouTube, Nos Confundum YouTube. That's him. Oh, you see, I yeah, thought he's, was a, a, I thought it was he's an author 50, as well. I, I thought it was yeah, he wrote. Yeah, I have so his books. We don't know if the map is from the books or the books are from the map. I have his map on the my egg wall. type thing, right? But <laughs> we don't know. Like, is it fiction? I want to get in the big balloon. That's like a Star Trek, you know, like the Enterprise. Yeah. You're supposed to be reading those books. Yeah, that, 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 map, right, Chris. that map puts Middle Earth to shame. Okay. Right? And then look at this. You see this right here? It's still this, gate. And what's this called? The Barrington Morris Strait? Oh, look. Isn't this South America's tip? Isn't this like the little bridge that they could just kind of walk over? That's it's awesome. crazy. He put, a lot, he put a lot of time into this. He put a some, lot of some, yeah. time. Well, he um, says he was leaked some stuff. Like, this isn't all imagination. He says this is leaked knowledge from... To, you know. See, but that's what uh, the book says. Of, of course, he would. It would. It would yeah, add yeah, to yeah. a mystery anyway. It's all <laughs> added. The fact that he's got a continent right outside of ours called Osiris, right? Uh, well, right. 
And then the land of Mars. Sure. So Osiris, Osiris is big in the American deception on our money and our bill. The 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 the, the, the tomb for Osiris is beneath the Wa Washington Monument, which is supposed to be the pregnant what? Osiris across from the like the whole thing is Egyptian sex magic, dude. Yeah, I mean, I I, I did <laughs> Lemuria and Atlantis, Deathland. I've never heard of that. Deathland? Yeah, nope, no idea. But then if you go down here, like Anunnaki. Tying in some mythos from the land of, you know, Enkidu, that's all from Gilgamesh, well, this, that's this all. makes so much more sense. I was wondering why David kept using the, this, and I was going, I go, yeah. it's a 50,000 foot overview. It's it's just, no, it's not. It's just awoken more. Of to be fair, David doesn't have the high def version. <laughs> no. oh, One of our people paid for it. That's how we got it. We didn't even steal this. Jeff. Oh, you have to you have to buy the 80 meg ver version? Yeah, of course. Jeff and Sal did. The... And then, I have he all, and then he gave it to all of us. Right, and then I gave it to everyone for free. But <laughs> hey, I, spent, I bought the money for the big ass map on my wall. Okay, so dude, you bought it for I all gave, of us. I gave him money. <laughs> I can share this. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> anyway, but like, so Anunnaki, Sea of Horus, the Land of Mars, like it all kind of fits into with. Like, well, hold on, oh, if I combine. Put, he, you put a watermark on it? Yeah, we can go to Mars. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's yeah. clearly his. Yeah, did. It's not like you're not going to know it's his image. Nice. So. Well, good for him. Seriously, yeah. that's, that's awesome. It, it gets right? huge. Does he, does, he do any, does he do anything else besides yeah. build? Yeah, yeah, he does videos. Uh, we, we did a video. Like I said, Jeff and I did a video on it first, and then I found him. But I think I quoted some of him. I think it's on my YouTube, actually. One of them that's still up, maybe. <laughs> this one has two strikes, three copyright strikes. And a big fat red warning, whatever the fuck that means. Well, yeah, guide, <laughs> guideline, guideline strike for yeah. um, for uh, potential hate speech. Yeah, probably. I'm full of that. I tried to make it just a flat Earth channel, right? But what the hell is it? Well, you know the the big one they went after, and they got so many people on was uh, medical oh. misinformation. That was the yeah, because that can be whatever the hell we say it is at even any given they, point. Even though they pulled all that down, <laughs> they they pulled it down. <laughs> When they changed the definition of pandemic and they changed the definition of vaccine and they changed the definition of all the words they were going to start to use, you were like, all right, this is nonsense. At what level of nonsense are we talking about? Yeah, if I would have posted my like vaccine recovery thing on YouTube, they probably would have arrested me. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, by the way, did you see the brand new um, Flat Earth troll that's out there? Which yeah. one? Oh, God. Uh, is it the map? You're talking about the moon map? Well, okay, first off, before I show it, before I give you the site name, um, do you guys uh, ever watch anything by Karen B or Brian Stavely or uh, Karen Benjamin? B? I do. Very. Right. I know him, Benjamin. I do. All right. Here, let me uh, <laughs> let me see if I can find it for you. One second. It is. I I found it just by accident. Karen and I were were talking last night and after after the podcast and and uh, I run into this night because I have to go when I go into um, YouTube I'll say flat Earth and then I'll say show me. Um, uh, Upload date, you know, the most recent videos. And this thing popped up. So here, look at it's this. Not, it's not this thing, is it? Uh, no. Okay. Nope. <laughs> yeah, you'll know. No, no. This is this is overt troll action. This guy, I'd love to get 100 more guys like this because... Alex Stein? No, not... Oh. <laughs> Alex is one of ours. I know, but he's a great yeah, troll. He's a, he's a dude, <laughs> Alex, uh, he just... So you're saying yeah. this is a trolling of Flat Earth? No, yeah, he's a troll. It's a trolling of flat earth, specifically right. Karen and I and Is Brian it? on Benjamin. Pull it up, pull up, and uh, <sighs> click on any one of the videos he's made in the last two weeks, and you'll see what I mean. I, I have never seen a troll actually use face face swapping technology, <laughs> and it is terrifying. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> You can God. do you can do innocent stuff, you know, like clicking on me and turning me into an astronaut on a SpaceX project. And sure. Screen shame. <laughs> but uh, but these are all shorts. I hate shorts. I can't see. Um, there's a couple that aren't shorts. God damn I, it. I don't like shorts either. But at the same time, by the way, that's another thing that uh, uh, the younger set is doing. So the, the 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 TikTokers are going to YouTube, grabbing snippets, reacting to them on TikTok. And then somebody else is grabbing those TikTok videos and putting them back on YouTube. Yep. So the, the content, Flat Earth is just, Flat Earth has now got this whole new wave of shorts. It is, uh, but but you're on BitChute, man. You know the real deal on the alt platforms is everyone's already a Flat Earther. Yeah. Like, if you're not on YouTube, everyone's already on board, dude. Where's the video? We didn't see the video, man. Oh, yeah. Did you pop anything up? No. These all look like shorts. 
Well, no, 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 there's a couple. The look at do a well again. If you know, do you know who Owen Benjamin is? Yeah. Okay, go do oh, one, one like Owen Benjamin, uh, Brian Stabley <laughs> rekindled their the relationship type type. <laughs> Laughing and not showing us. Yeah, yeah, he's he's out. Oh, sorry, dude. Let us in on the joke. It's really funny. Okay. (laughs) No, it's it's safe. It's safe for work. It's not. It's not. um, It's not X-rated. So, like, that's Brian Stavely. That's Owen Benjamin (laughs) from the Wedding Singer. And I then, want this tech. I want. How can I edit? I want to be able to do that. I know. I know <laughs> I'm surprised trolls haven't tried this before. It's TikTok face swapping for sure. Good Hold morning, on, I'll be right back. Well, oh my I god, don't TikTok! I, I refuse to use TikTok. Haunting. No. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Shame. It's just. <laughs> Find um f- here show show the astronaut one with me just to give you a quick idea of what uh, you can... whole winker thirty four fingers yeah butthole winker thirty four his channel is very new but he just he just put these up like uh, most of them were put up like last night all right that's that's brokeback mountain yeah. yeah actually Owen's pretty convincing there is uh... <laughs> dude Owen's another one I really love to talk to that guy's hilarious Nicholas Cage. <laughs> Alright, where are we looking? Hold on. Yeah, what, what, uh, that, uh, that, that was like a, Here, about go, two months, scroll, three months before I, I really to the top. watching that, uh, watching him melt down over becoming a click flat on, earther. Click on Mark Sargent, <laughs> astronaut, that, that one in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like I can make it big. Ah, it's alright. But you say that's all good. Yeah. So anyway, this guy's brand new, and and people say, <laughs> oh, you know, do trolls bug you? There's one of Karen's got one like that as well. At least I thought Karen was in there. Um, she definitely definitely nailed him, dude. But trolls are like a badge of honor, right? If you're not getting yeah, trolls, you know, you're yeah, not, yeah, you're yeah, not doing it right. <laughs> I love, I love a thousand. Oh it my just god, sends them your way, one. right? I think he pulled the Karen one. Hang on, I gotta I gotta check this out. This Brian Stevens, Karen B, and the incident. Oh, he pulled oh. the Karen astronaut one. Oh, that's sad. Oh. He, um, let's see, he pulled that since last night, which is, I, th- I didn't think he would. Maybe she messaged him. Butthole winker. <laughs> okay. In other words, R-E-T-A-R-D, retard. <laughs> I'll, I'll, take, I'll take a whole bunch of this guy, you know, if, if you're right. willing to spend the time and... Right, uh, it's free advertising, dude. Oh, yeah, it's free advertising. Hey, you can do it right back to him, too. Nah, wow. we don't. We don't have time for that shit, dude. Like I was asking the people, like, how often do you spend trolling things you don't like on people's channels you don't care about, on things you don't believe in? Is that zero? Because it oh, should man, be zero yeah. for any rational person. Like, <laughs> well, no, exactly. there is some. There is some fun in that. Come on. Yeah, but oh, yeah. dude, we have fun, you know, doing constructive shit and making stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, fun yeah, yeah, trolling yeah, each other. Like, I, 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 I consider I'll, that I'll, fun I'll trolling. I'll other, take other people's channels. Of, right. just, I'll, I'll take ten of these guys. I right. take ten of these guys over a single Cyman Dan. Yeah, that guy though. But you can tell he's like his what? trepidation and fear is palpable. Yeah. He's like, what if I say the wrong thing? Because people know I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Or <laughs> Professor Day. And honestly, yeah. in high is he, school, his yeah. physics education is horrifying. Professor Dave just shot all over Weiss. That was the whole point of that. Oh, uh, so, you know they they asked me to do that that one and uh, and I said no. For a couple reasons, but I didn't because I didn't I didn't think because I had just done something with Sean Atwood and I was like, nah, I can see a kind of sort of a setup thing happening here. <laughs> I had no idea it was going to be the nightmare that. Uh, oh, that's yeah. Central. Professor Davis. Right? Right? You like that? <laughs> you can tell because you don't really do the debate scene, and I know why because it's yeah, best fruitless. way, mate. Best way. But we did that blindfolded, like before we even knew anything. <laughs> yeah. We just kind of walked into it. So I have all these things that refute their refined points. Until the point where they just parrot solar filter, the solar filter, and I'm like, now what? They're like, no, no, nah. I'm like, got it, <laughs> <laughs> nailed it. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, we were gonna have dedicated trolls, no question, right? Uh, and I'm, we, we, we've, we've had more, and there's still a bunch of trolls out there, but they're not. There's only a few that are that are willing to put in the time and and spend every week. Uh, and and make a video against us and, and try to keep going. And we some of the people, you know, I mean Nathan Oakley 
he taunts trolls every single day. So, but you know, there's like a huge schism in the Flat Earth community in the past two weeks or so. They've been following really? this. Yeah. No, what's well, what's been happening? Do you know who Witch It Gets It is? Uh, yes, I do know who Witch It Lo Gets It is. Love him. Love him. Been talking to him a bunch. Um, he's coming out on like the ether, and I'm kind of like, oh, that solidifies all the stuff that I already accepted in my brain, the way that things need to work on the flat earth for things that I see to make sense. But he's coming out scientifically, and they're just railing him for it. Really? Railing him, hanging him for it. Yeah, like, oh, you're so, you're yeah, a embarrassment to the flat earth community. I'm like, oh, Nathan, you cunt showing. I think you gotta let uh, QE pull your pants up a little bit next time. And then he banned me, so I'm not allowed to speak in any of Ethan stuff anymore. Oh. <laughs> but it, it, it's because of See, Ethan, this dude. This is why right? I stay away from the groups, man. You, you know what I mean? To be just, fair, dude, like, I just popped on the scene, emotional. right? Everybody and I'm like, you guys are a bunch of cunts, so. The thing is, like, we're <laughs> I don't know. to be emotionally stunted, yeah? Yeah. And it's really rare to, to find a group of people where the the majority of them are emotionally mature you, you know what i mean it, it's it's like it's barely t it's taken me till this time to accept that i'm emotionally stunted you know what i mean it's uh, so and you have so no, many no, no, people no. Looking, i'm the most they, it, immature here okay. everybody, <laughs> you got everybody we, we've been lied to for so long that you can't help but end up in a group of people who are going yeah and this is a lie and that's a lie but this truth is the stronger truth than your truth and you're just like oh right. fuck it. i this is where, where, why we're in the problem we're in at the moment with the rest of the fucking place. You right. know what I mean? So, uh, well, dude, we, we all have discernment. Like, I, I can what, show you something what, I made up and you can laugh at it. I can show you something real and you go, whoa. Yeah. Well, so, so what's, what's this shit about ether? What? He's talking about the energy that Tesla discovered, which, by the way, if, because if everything, like, if we're going to pull back to the, if the, play, the stars are all on one plane, all of our power is on another plane. And right. all you have to know is that if you put a, an antenna up with a massive copper on it, guess what? You've got electricity. It's as simple as that. You don't have to go, why? Where's it from? Ooh, is it part of this? No, just fucking use yeah. it. If you power? smell the rag that I have in my hand, your ass will hurt tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Dude, yeah. some of us have to know, man. My Weirdest intellectual curiosity. Yeah. Oh, dude, what, you haven't what, heard nothing. What's to know? What's to know? <laughs> You're arguing over something that's been given to you by God for free, yeah? Tesla showed you how to fucking use it. They've been taking the piss out for 120 years, ever since, oh. yeah? And fucking now, you're going to sit Tesla in a group online using, using the free energy that they've managed to put a meter on to argue and discuss about something, which if you go out and fucking create your own antenna, you can create that. And guess Let's what? Go you do can it. Create your own flying ship. And then you can go and find your own border and find out if it is just a round circle or if there's more. Yes, yeah. dude, my time arguing with idiots is over. I'm not arguing this shit with them. I already know yeah. what it is, right? I'm yeah, just yeah, listening yeah. to them. <laughs> I get the, well, this is why I say to you the other day, mate. I, I want to fund. I want to fucking. I want to get a, a, a let's go fund me and get an airship together and just go and see <laughs> yep. what's over there, man. And then get, the get shot down by the military. <laughs> Yeah, oh, that's what, they, that's what we've been told, yeah? But if we do it as a massive televised project, like that geezer who reckoned he jumped off a balloon at Stratosphere, yeah? That's, you know what I mean? All like, control, you need to get baby. Red Bull involved, like, you know what you I mean? You need to get the, the whole world get involved. Get Relentless, or no fear, you Red know what Bull's I mean? Red Bull's not going to get involved. You're satanic. Yeah, right? I'm taking, I'm taking the piss, mate. But what we do is we, we take it. <laughs> what, what, what we do is we take a leaf out of Salty Crackers book, yeah? You know what he's got? He's got his own website where you've got based people and everything funding themselves yeah so what we do is we go to that website we go look we find some fucking base flat earthers there's got to be some money out there mate you know what i mean let's get some crypto on this shit yeah that's <laughs> the only way forward and i'm sick of the fucking theory and i've only been doing this 10 minutes dude we gotta win the war first man <laughs> to be we, fair i drag guys on some crazy the theory get on with it you know right. what i mean <laughs> what do you think they, they won the war and fucked off and no one ever goes back to being a globe earther unless they're paid to do it like rent no yeah. Do you know any, Mark? Oh, everybody froze for me. Uh oh. Uh oh. Into us, it it make it makes. It ostracizes us, doesn't it? Like, you know what I mean? It's, you know what I mean? Because it, because like they, they don't want to fucking, they if, if you start doing here. the flat earth, they're <laughs> just like that. Gaz, I knew you were fucking nuts, but now, now anything that you said hey, beforehand is out the window. The and it's like, what the fuck? Sorry. It's horrible.
<laughs> I'm a chronic we, earther. We are not the best. <laughs> I'm like, you're a globe earther? Really? <laughs> yeah. I laugh at people now. It's just funny. I, <laughs> yeah, but, you know, my record of converting people is way higher than all yours. My whole family's converted, right? You got to meet them where they live. Oh, you can't just shout I, science at them. You can't just disown your daughter, Jeff, because he doesn't believe in Father Earth. <laughs> I, just I just said I prefer to hang out with people that think like me. To your daughter, you maniac. <laughs> She's got her own life and family anyway, so. The, the, the tough part of me is I can't, I will never date a non-flat earther again. Yep. Yeah. You can't. Exactly. That, How do you have intimacy with someone that you don't trust yeah. and you believe oh, it's stupid? Oh, man, I hadn't even considered that. Oh, nice one, Mark. I'm thinking about Sorry. <laughs> you'll, you'll get there. Eventually, you'll, you'll realize yes. you'll be like, I think we're all there. Oh, man, I can't. No. If you, if you try, <laughs> you're going to get this one moment where... You, you disagree, and I mean, yeah, well, that's one thing. It's kind of nuts. Nice. I've already, uh, I'm at a loss anyway because I don't want to be dating any vaccinated birds. Yeah, well, so well, yeah. Well, yeah. Then, <laughs> unvaccinated flat well, Generally, they're both the same people. So you that's don't true. Have that's that's very true. Yeah. Oh, that's that's a good one. Those flat earthers vaccinated because they're not stupid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. No, well, we get, we lost very few during uh, the the last couple, two and a half years. Very few compared right? to other people. Yeah. I they. There were some high-profile people, sure, but they didn't go down because of the shot. No, they went down because of the treatment. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Unfortunately. Well, I know 11 people that died within just my circle of friends from that from that shit. The best part about being a conspiracy theorist is a lack of myocarditis. <laughs> <laughs> <It goes>. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, well, dude, the, someone, uh, someone just showed me. They removed that term from the NHS website. Myocarditis no longer exists to them. We oh, isn't that convenient? We will not die from climate change. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah climate change. that's a whole, that's a whole other thing, by the way. Where, um, uh, I mean, forget about the the glacier of doom, uh, which they talked about a couple of days ago. Uh, but there's some, <laughs> there's going to be some in the western part of the United States. There's going to be some power issues because of the uh, the the heat. That's that called mismanagement and theft. When but, you steal billions of dollars think. instead of spending them on infrastructure, things start to get shitty. But yeah. but they're they're doing that. What was I gonna say? Shit, I lost it. Someone else. Well, we're still. United States is still in better shape than most of Europe. When uh, we've been so, hearing power outage well, warnings for like a year and a half, though. Literally, the United States, just like the UK. Yeah, the UK is is, is pleading poverty on energy, mate. Yeah. Right. We've got coal mines that have been shut down for thirty years. We've got oil oozing out of the Avon Mouth River. I'm a driller, yeah? There's literally, you go to the Bristol Avon Mouth, there's oil that's been coming out of the ground. There's, it's not even that hard to, dr to drill. And they're oh. like that. Oh, we haven't got any energy. You're a I'm like that. Well, you're a fucking idiot then. You know Isn't that what, I mean? what you do for a living is drill? You didn't get yeah. that from his tag, yeah, yeah. dude? Yeah, yeah, I'm a driller, like, yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. You have your quality to speak of it you know yeah. right yeah, yeah. So, so, and it's all over the place we've got coal everywhere you guys have got the, the largest reserves and what, what did biden do oh no you got no more licenses for drilling fuck off what do you think the second amendment's for i'm going fucking drilling mate <laughs> yeah? you know what i mean fucking texas mate we got texas tea down here and you ain't it. yeah we'll have the texas tea party yeah a resident I, Texan says? It's not off that you can the Beverly Hillbillies reference. It's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what are you saying, Bill? A resident Texan says what? Resident, says, resident Texan says, howdy, y'all. Oh, there howdy it is. There's the draw you couldn't bring out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. well. Come on down here. Uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's got to be sooner or later. But I like, like the, the clamors. Commerce <laughs> dictates that fucking you, that you, you guys they, they can't keep this starving of the of the energy across the board. Yeah, the so one of your states has got to give. Like, which one do you reckon it is that's going to go? No nah, man, we're just going to fucking open the pipeline up again. This is on its own it, power grid, so it, it ain't going to be mine. It depends on what happens on how quickly the people who are vaccinated die. <laughs> literally and i know this sounds fatalistic okay. but if it is if, if, if they die on mass we really don't need of anything what? Yeah, but then, yeah but then the infrastructure dies doesn't it like you know what i mean it's like uh, they reported yesterday on the bbc we'll build a new one. That, uh since uh, since march this year uh it, the, the the average death rate is 15 percent higher 
than the five year average since March, and it's and it's going and it's still and it's not stopping. Yeah, yeah, that's unknown to... causes. But that's just oh, what yeah, they're well, admitting that's, to that's currently. Exactly. They said that we, we right. don't know what it is. I made a video and I put up like it brought to you by Pfizer at the end of it. Like, <laughs> yeah. I mean. But, um, <coughs> It's, it's got a, they, I, I, I'm starting a campaign in, in the UK where I'm, I'm starting to chat to people where it's like people are saying, oh, we can't afford it. Oh, you're going to have 900, 9, 400% or no, 900% increase on your bills. Yeah. And I'm like, and people are like, I can't afford to pay it. And I've just turned around to them and said, no, nope. just keep paying what you're paying. If they send you a bill for, if your bill was this last month, $50. Yeah. And now then you get a bill saying $300 this month, you just fucking pay them $50. Because you're still paying. If you stop paying, yeah, that's when they can take you to court. But as long as as long as you're willing to pay and you're showing that you're paying something, they they haven't got a leg to stand on. That's how commerce works. That's how fucking the Ukraine's that going. That's how pay it's a all on loans. Every it's month. all on loans. That's what we said, yeah. Something's <laughs> being paid, yeah. And that's that's what they are not. They're, they're hoping nobody realizes. That's what they're hoping that you don't realize. That my neighbor doesn't realize that. And so I'm, every time I go, I hear somebody worrying. I'm going, mate, just pay what you're paying. You'll be all right. You'll be right. all right. But Don't the, worry about it. But then what happens is it, it get, you've got the people in the UK. I don't know if you have key meters, electricity meters, where you have to go and buy the credit and then put it on in your country. No. Yeah, wait, so no. That sounds you, horrible. Oh, mate, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's electricity you and slavery. Digital, yeah? Whoa. So, so, digital. <laughs> yeah, so they they got plan, you dude. literally have a key meter, and you'll meters. get a, your your electricity meter will start beeping beep 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 beep, and you've got like two hours to get down the shop and buy another ten pounds worth of credit. Yeah, that's <laughs> what they have over here, and it's those no people. Have, they have those digital meters. They can just shut them down from right there at their little station. Oh yeah, but well, it's only the cities like there's they in the UK, mate. Yeah, they they give they give it like you got to remember. <laughs> All the media tells you, oh, everything's digitalized. Oh, yeah, we can lock it so all great. Yeah. Smart meters everywhere. Do you know the amount of people in fuck, in the UK have gone, fuck you to your smart meter? <laughs> they can't shut it down. It's only going to be like 10 people in one street. Who's, who's <laughs> we didn't have I mean, that option. You haven't got it was forced upon us. Yeah, tough, mate. <laughs> yeah. That was forced but, upon us. But what, what I want to do is, learn that they, you know how you get electricity induction? Yeah. What you want to do is just get a big fucking coil and put it... A, where you find the, the the main cable going into your house so that's the other side of the meter and then you just induce the electricity on that and have your own line coming off it i have an induction stove i love that thing an induction ring dude I, i've been i've been seeing cracker and jeff do their own electric stuff and shit all the time you guys are showing your homemade batteries and shit now what are you guys doing nice <laughs> hey, what, what are they, are yeah, they I made that little line? battery oh. with, the, with the with the magnets and the zinc and stuff i actually made that yeah, and I saw Jeff's little rendition. Sorry, Bella, go oh, ahead. Oh, man, share the wealth, man. <laughs> chuck, chuck us those videos. You can give it his pictures. But yeah, yes, it looked homemade to me. <laughs> oh, mine was totally homemade, but I mean, mine, <laughs> mine was different. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, it's energy independence. This is what they're relying on. This, this, so that's the other answer. It works it's like, like a champ, too. Energy right? independence. They're going to starve us of energy. And what's that going to do? That's going to breed uh, 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 innovation, yeah? Because necessity right. is the mother of invention, isn't it? You know what I mean? There we go. So, so either way, like, I like to be well, I'm I'm still a, a half the power guy, yeah? What they're saying we're limiting here, that just means we're going to find something else over there. Like, <laughs> there's always that option in there. You can use pennies to make that device because every penny after 1982 is zinc and every penny before 1982 is copper. So you can Dude, just... I got so much copper wire sitting out there. Copper, I've so, copper, zinc. I've got so much four gauge wire out there I'm going to use. Anyway, Mark, what do you think of Sun on the Moon? <laughs> <laughs> uh... What, what do you want? Do you anything more specific than that? Well, like, so do we think, do you think they're solid? Are you under our new umbrella? Uh, do we think they're pl I, plasma projections? It, it, it's a freaking toss up. I mean, mm. once you know that you could take a magnifying glass to sunlight and make a pinpoint on the ground that's so incredibly bright, you can barely even look at it, then it's like, okay, is the sun, or you know what? You, okay, I'll, I'll take it a different way. Uh, do you guys ever watch? I'm sure one of you has. Uh, any, watch any of Eric Dollard stuff from years ago? No, I've only been awake to fly for eighteen months, man. I remember Dude, retroactive oh, speed learning. Oh, oh. Wow! <laughs> look, look up a guy named Eric Dollard. See if you can find a shot of him being interviewed. That's, I haven't heard that name in a long time. I know, right? And this was this predates Flat Earth, where he was being asked questions about the sun, 
And of course, oh yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Is he the guy Founded... who said that the sun, the moon's plasma? No, 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 different well, guy. Well, he said that he said that they were both really transformers. And he goes, oh, the sun isn't creating any fusion; it's receiving its energy from elsewhere. He's basically saying it's a light bulb. Hilarious, right. And, right? and people thought he was nuts back then, but now he's like, you know, after I'm starting to get in this, it's like, you know what? It's not crazy. The question is, it was the conviction that sold me. He's like, no, there's no. In fact, let me see if I can find it. <laughs> I think that's how Dave Weiss sold me on Flat Earth. He was so confident going, it is. And Dubay going, go check it. It is flat. And I'm like, huh, he seems real confident. <laughs> like, oh, look at it. There's power all these intelligent people going over to Flat Earth. And right. <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to go see what's up with this. Yeah, I was late to the party, guys. I think he's still alive. Uh, Eric Dollard, he's got his own channel. Yeah, I used to like listening to him. I remember who he is now. Didn't, yeah. he, didn't he disprove gravity too? And I'd sit there and just listen to Dude, him. the guy in the primer field disproved gravity, black holes, dark energy, expansion of the universe, and a bunch of other stuff. It was it's great. It's easy to disprove. I can do that. Yeah. Anyway. But but basically what he was saying was is that the, the sun and the moon, especially the sun, is, is not what you think it is. You know, Now, he didn't right. talk about the size or anything like that, but he, I mean, I suppose I could have gotten it eventually. But he was saying that there's no fusion on the sun. All right. Whatever, he goes, whatever you're seeing is, is just a light. He goes, he is getting it's all its energy from something. He goes, it's a transformer. It's getting... Psalms 19, 4 through 6. No. Dude, Craig, I fight the fight the tight shirt was telling me that it couldn't possibly be, so therefore it must be. Hmm. Who knows? If it was so far away, we wouldn't be able to feel the heat. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> right? I mean, but then they take that and they go, well, if it was that small, we'd all burn up. And you go, stop applying your nonsense <laughs> radiology to, like, the real sun, you know what I mean? People forget about that. The inverse square law of light not only proves that the sun isn't as far as they say it is away, but it also proves that there's no parallel rays, too. Yeah, I showed that to Craig at Fight the, fight the Titan yeah, Ship, too. Uh, here, fight the tight yeah, let's, hang on, let me listen to this for a second, and I'll see if... Yeah, projected from Polaris, refracted off of the dome, diffracted in atmospheric gases. Can can you play audio? Yeah. Okay, here, play uh play this. This is two minutes. This is there a dollar? Probably what he's most known for. Make sure you tag it, um audio when you share screen because that'll make that mistake all the time. <laughs> there there are longer there are longer versions, like eight minutes long. Uh, but this one is I think the one that gets the most traction. And this one is from eight years ago. There's nothing inside. Huh. Turn it up. He's not burning anything. There he is. Yeah, I remember him. Yeah. Yeah, well, there's just not the way to prove that there is any. It's only in the flares that you get fusion. That's where all the x rays. And they can't even prove this to me. The X-rays and the microwaves and whatever result of fusion in the arcs. Is there's no fusion in the sun. They don't know how the sun works. <laughs> right? Yeah. It's an electromagnetic vortex. It transforms. <laughs> it transforms from some other dimension. Oh, my God. That's exactly right. It's not burning right. anything. It doesn't have to. It's a converter. I don't know. It's a big generator. It's a converter. I don't know. Don't ask me dumb questions. <laughs> That's how everything works. Yeah, you can say it's. Oh, well, I learned this shit. Wow, history and theory of electricity by Eric Dollard. Yeah, nice one, Mark. Can't even measure in outer space or sea. Yeah, I I mean, again, this was this was before us, and I remember listening to him and going, "This guy's pretty kooky, but not wavering, right?" The one. The ones that sounded the craziest are the most accurate, right? And the ones that yell the loudest have the most to hide. <laughs> well, well, he's, he's a man talking with experience rather than just theory. Like, showing the shit to me. Yeah, I, I haven't even thought about this. Material yeah. objects, but you cannot see the sources of light. There is no light right. until there's a material object. Because so no it's just like stars or sun or luminescence. Just... Yes, it looks a lot like. light years. There are no light years. <laughs> it's all light nonsense. Light. <laughs> that means that it, right? The there we go. Mars isn't four million years old. Right? The energy coming up, you don't tell. It hits the thing, gets old. diffracted and refracted it's into some of the All the theories collapse. That's the moon. The sun comes from the moon. Let him speak, man. 
I oh, didn't hear the last bit. Hold I, on. I, the link's in there for you, but yeah. what that means what he was one... basically saying was he's he's really describing a lot of virtual theory, which yep. was he's saying there's no light years because, and he, he he almost said it, but he he didn't say it, which was the sun could be just right there, and. Yeah. The, the the reason why there's no light years is because the the space that you're that you're thinking about isn't there. The sun is is almost instantaneous. When we build virtual worlds, we pretend we we create the sun and we imagine that it's out millions of miles away. But when you're creating the light, the light's not actually coming from the sun. We just say, okay, we create a light source, but then we create the re reflective qualities of everything around it instantaneously yeah no time yeah. elapses there is no light, light speed of light that's exactly what the ether says that's what witsa keeps yeah. saying dude that's yeah, like yeah, exactly. everything it's and when you take away the speed of the light the whole globe just implodes because everything's based on that right? it falls yeah. apart too have yeah. you guys ever seen this the magnetic sun put down i think by some awesome group but they measured they took the azimuth did all the measurements and turned out the sun's path as a toroid <laughs> that's awesome hold on I did a nice clip. By taking just one longitude, zero UTC meridian on Earth. He's got that? a flat Earth philosophy, that dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's in here too. This is Shane's theory of everything that I made. <laughs> sun object for that location for a year for each tenth latitude north and south of the equator and just let the data run its course for a year. But the model became so heavy with data and tiny hair thin tracer lines that even with a super machine, we couldn't render the result. That's staggering to me still. After some trial and error, we finally managed to get a clear view on the end result. <coughs> and even with our sun being an equal distance to the observer, the shape and layout ended up in a torus field around the Earth. All right. This is one of the most influential videos I've ever seen on Flat Earth. Hmm. Well, influential to me personally, I guess. Yeah. We still have to figure out how to do proper 3D vectoring to get all the observed speeds and changes in the motion of the sun, creating a more true shape. That's in my background, right? We <laughs> don't know yet what, where, and how this outside source is no working, so to speak. But from an engineer's perspective, everything that works like a machine it's requires a total point. It's an apparent laws of physics to discover its direction. We just have to figure out where to go from here, and what experiments can be derived to either build on this or modify the basic concept. Hmm. I feel like I'm doing it now, but I did this for the video. <laughs> it looks very similar. <laughs> evaluation, testing, and experimenting to either verify or debunk certain aspects of this model. It is therefore with great honor and humility that we present this first and only working flat earth model with an actual base in geometry, science, and observations. Right, it's the magnetic part that I skipped through. <laughs> there it is. Told you the dome is a charge distributor. It's a Gaussian. You these things, man. You gotta listen. And some of the things that's important is the stars can be flat, but the refractor dome has to be curved, right? Huh. Has to be solid, like yeah. Right, so they map the sun, and it's literally like, it's it's personal to you, is what they discovered. The yeah. way you see the sun is only for you ever. Like that little model. Look at that. So, 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 like, okay. So that, this this feeds it. This this is magic. Oh, pause it now, because that that's what Mark was just saying. Like the, Eric yeah. Donard said, look, mate, basically, uh, the light is where you. Uh, he described the virtual reality. Right. Like so, so that so that, that everybody like like you just said, Mark. So, uh, whenever I'm gaming, when we're all online gaming, yeah, yeah. so we're all on GTA and it's daytime, yeah. yeah, our sun is not in the same position as your sun on your screen and your sun on your screen, right? right? But so, 
it basically wow wow so that, that fed in really well from my understanding of what the sun's doing now thank you oh i forgot i never made you watch that dude <laughs> the, um, the the term the term in software that's used is um called instancing which is basically right. your yeah. there's an instance being made just for you or your group or your geographical location take it right there. and it is only for it is only for you and it was the easiest way to program because otherwise it would be way too hard it's like we're not going to try to keep things consistent we're not going to actually make a freaking localized sun but yeah. we can simulate it for everybody because they're not going to know the difference anyway. Yeah. Which and and again in real life, here who questions it, right? Mm -hmm. You know, it's like oh yeah, it's a pretty day out. You're calling your friend. He's 20 miles away. It's oh yeah, it is a nice Everything day. Everything is connected. Yep. But the, Everything is. The thing that goes along with it, if you put it like a, a sheet down and put a flashlight on it, and you have people in the room point to where they see the sun, it'll all be in different spots. Right. right? The um the part that I that I thought was very clever was that the the powers that be really they they put it underneath the surface but they made sure it was out there that at the equator weird things happen you know that whole water right. flowing in different directions and i still bring up to this day uh you know a non-flat earth or a giant youtube channel called smarter every day who did mm -hmm. an experiment on that just for the heck of it just to see it's like you know is it a myth that that things rotate in different directions depending on what hemisphere you're in and he, you know, he and his buddy set up these kid waiting pools, identical waiting pools with center valves, completely identical on both sides. One was in Australia, one was in North America, and they made sure the water sat still for hours, absolutely perfectly dead still. And to make sure not to disturb the water, they used eyedroppers and food coloring. And then they both, you know, fired their plugs at the same time to see what happens. And he goes, he goes, yeah, the, the spin was so amazingly slight that he, he, goes, it, it's, he goes, it's a myth. All that toilet stuff and the drain stuff, because it's, it doesn't, it's not real. Yeah. He, goes, he goes, I'm not sure. He goes, I'm not right. sure where it came from. You have to prove right. extra rotation anyways. Yeah, right. that was all Coriolis nonsense, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's down to the design of the plug hole yeah. that causes the fucking spin, like. And then they figured out, oh, it's the direction of the water and the shape of the bowl. Oh, but if, but if you go on, if you go down to uh, the um, the equator, there are tourist traps that will show you with copper bowls, you know, a little sleight of hand. It's like, oh, look, I step, I step here, it's going yeah. this way. All right, guys, step three feet this way, it's going completely the other way. It's like, yeah. But that is how we see the stars, though, right? Like at the equator right here, like yeah, we're but showing. That's, but that's a little different. Again, that's, yeah. that's just straight up instancing. That is that is a big, what, what again, in the software world, it's called the skybox system. Because yeah. Because it's all squared off. There's no, people think that, it, you know, there's domes in software. There isn't. Everything's right angles. Nobody, right. you can't tell a computer to draw a circle. You can just right. tr tell the computer to draw tiny, you know, tiny little squares until it makes a circle, yeah. but you can't tell it. Is, the computer doesn't know how to draw a circle. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, so for the equator, for the stars, I mean, yeah, you just have one instance on this side, one instance on that side. So and, great. It I think it's a parabolic reflection, but I can't actually find that term defined and anywhere. <laughs> I'm like, wait, what the, is this real? Is this exist? Even if it wasn't. It's back to that Dubai video. Yeah. Like, that little six minute thing that you made that was brilliant that, that's in here too <laughs> you, you'll have to forgive me I, I i i don't normally follow his stuff but that's for well this one actually is worth watching it's, really it's his southern star really? trail video it's because like southern star trails to me was the thing on the flat earth that i couldn't get i didn't understand in debates they were like well how about the southern cross i was like i don't fucking know and, you know, like yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I don't know, I don't know anything about I'm, it. I can't defend oh, it. I have no I'm idea. I'm surprised it doesn't come up. People, more. It, it, it does. When I was, but it's hard. Globe, when I was pro globe, like, that was the one I used to throw at everybody, and I didn't even know what I was throwing. <laughs> Fair <laughs> enough, dude. There you, you go. I mean, <laughs> like, yeah. uh, I, I, but no, but but no, nobody in the flat Earth could answer me on it either. You know what uh, I mean? Until Shane, you mean? Yeah. It's your boy yeah. Shane. Yeah. <laughs> the, um, the one that I'm really surprised, again, more, more interviews don't bring up, is uh, the 24-hour sun in Antarctica. Right? That one's pretty easy, dude. Oh, Ready? Easy. There is none. <laughs> well, there is and there isn't. I mean, if it, even if there is some, you know, I, I, you know, do I think it possibly could be a secondary light source? Sure. If you have that 80 gigabyte map, who knows where a second light source could be coming from. So the cool thing about this model, right, first of all, is made by a global to show us how dumb we are. And I've really? used it. 
They have used it so much to prove how things work on the flat earth. Here's the poles and, you know, 24 hour sun and 24 hour darkness. Completely, I think, mapped in the most art <laughs> accurate way with the specificity required. <laughs> who, who, do you know who made this, the, the original model? I'm sure his name's on here a hundred times. I just never read it. Huh. Walter Bizenlins, I guess. Not Flat mm. Earth Dave, really? No, no, no. <laughs> Literally, he's like, I'm going to show you how dumb you are. And I'm like, well, we don't have a working model like this. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> wrote out nice. yeah. The Flat Earth Dave questions, that big, long, like, 40 yeah. questions. I actually wrote out all the answers to that. Hey, 24-hour <laughs> darkness. I mean, really, could work that way. That's about how the light darkness ratio works. <laughs> I can't stand Professor Dave at a little train. No, nobody can. No, <laughs> nobody can. No, no. I mean, if you if you look at his back history, he was just dying to make it on social media, and he was throwing darts everywhere. Yep. And got lucky with it's like, oh look, I made an anti flat Earth video and got a million hits. Guess what I'm going to be doing now? Yeah. <laughs> guess what I'm a pro at now? Yeah. yeah exactly. I'm a I'm that guy. And, and all he is is a high school pro a physics teacher. He's not. He doesn't have any qualifications. No, he doesn't. Uh, yeah, but. Dude, well, he hell, he was fun. a musician at one point. He was a, <laughs> a Spanish teacher. I, or I think a, he's a girl Italian. now. I think <laughs> he identifies as a girl. Dude. Uh, he's just awful. If you watch his only other debate that he's ever done, it was him arguing against evolution to one of the evolution's top, like, debaters, and he got destroyed. Oh, that black and, guy? No, no, no. It's this white old guy. Oh, I found it. It's the only other debate he ever did, and the things he learned when he was talking to his flunkies afterwards. He's like, "Well, he said that nonsense, and I couldn't have him unsay it." Man, I can't. So, so therefore, I won't let anyone say nonsense again, and that's I, why he interrupted Dave every time he spoke. I, <laughs> I was like, I'd love to see him debate uh, quantum eraser on evolution. Now, I'll tell you what, he's pro on that shit. Yeah, but I don't want to listen to his cunt talk. He's a dick, but but when it comes to information on like evolution, yeah, that man knows his shit. What's it supposed to debate, Professor Dave? Like this coming up, they've been really yeah. What's it'll destroy him? It won't he's... even be a, a debate. It'll be wh whoever it is saying their it's piece. Very, well, well it'll, none of these things are debates. Part of, it'll <laughs> down, part of it'll come down to the moderator because um, yeah, uh, what's yeah, this name? Just mute the Oh crap! What was the guy's like, name? Me, the, me kicked me off. <laughs> Sean, Sean Atwood. Sean, yeah, Sean Atwood. Would, you know, they said, "Oh yeah, he'll totally moderate this thing." And he and his buddy, they just turned their mics off, and they they let it they let him go at it. It's like, oh come on. Yep. Oh yeah, and giggle away, giggle away like little girls. Like that's yeah. why. I, yeah, like, oh, yeah, yeah. this is great. Dude, MC Tune oh. had me moderate a debate with Cracker, and I had to mute Cracker way more times than I had to mute MC Tune. Just mean I was fair. <laughs> I had to mute you a bunch, dude. <laughs> But I'll still take a whole bunch more of, you know, if he wants to buy subs and, and generate fake videos and all this great. stuff. Great. Fantastic. It just keeps generating more, more stuff for us. Right. I'd, I'd be thrilled. In fact, I have I'd, so I'd, much content from them. I wish, I wish more media would be showing up at the conference in October, uh, but Karen doesn't want to promote it. She, she's so funny. She's like, you know, I want to, I want to get, do more media. I go, yeah, but you hate all media. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't have both. It's like I want to do more interviews. I go, and yet you won't call a single network down to the conference. It's like, come on, how does that work? Have you ever thought about this? How all these globe earthers, like Professor Dave, are actually bringing people to flat Earth because they point out flat earthers, and then people yeah. go to flat earthers channel and see how full of shit he is. Yeah, well, he yeah. says all the time. He goes, "That brought so many more people to me than I ever could have imagined." That you, the you abrasive are, way we did that. You guys have probably heard me uh, tell the story about uh, uh, the the actress Amy Adams, uh, Lois Lane in the new Superman movie, which is she was she 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 hates flat Earth, absolutely hates it. Um, she was at uh, a few years back, she was at a um, an Oscars party after the Oscars down in down in Hollywood, and all the you know a lot of people in the in the Hollywood community they're actually conspiracy people, believe it or not. Hmm. Because they don't trust, you know, they're open-minded and they don't trust the government. They whisper in all about all this stuff. And Amy walks in and she goes, you can put all that BS to bed. Let me tell you the crap my father's into. Flat Earth. And she just starts railing on <laughs> railing against Flat Earth. And what she was inadvertently doing was getting all these people. It's like, wow, why is Amy so upset? Click, 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 click. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 you know, what, what got her all worked up? Click, click, click. And the and she was converting people on the fly just by telling people they hate it. Um, producers have told me that where they've said it doesn't matter whether the audience loves or hates a topic as long as they pick one and they're talking about it. 
<laughs> in fact, they said most of the time. Plant that the, seed, baby. The the what? Plant that seed. That's exactly. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're doing it for us. They're planting the seeds for us. That's With a scattergun, dude. Now the, the hate generates more interest. Um, yeah. There was a there was a radio show I did down in um, Australia, and it was a call in. I wasn't there, and they were. It was called Change My Mind, right? And they were taking calls. It was like, okay, I gave my nickel tour, and then the callers were supposed to change my mind. Afterwards, the, the producer comes on after the show's over. I, I wish I would record more of those after the fact. And she goes, uh, she goes, just so you know, she goes, it was probably two to one, the amount of people that were calling in in favor of Flat Earth. <laughs> and I, go, yeah. I go, yeah, but you didn't take a single one of them. She goes, yeah, well, <laughs> what's the fun in that? She goes, that'd be a terrible show. Jesus Christ. <laughs> we yeah, need people yeah, yeah. to argue with you. And I was like, oh, crap. Like, <laughs> that's how it works. Yeah, Dude, yeah, you did. Thing. Oh, we've got a real dumb one that will be, be entertaining. Yeah, it's, it's the X Factor all over again, isn't it? Yeah, I just saw, I saw you do an interview with, uh, who's this guy? Russell Brand, right? Oh, yeah. If you can yeah. call it that. I think you got four words in the whole well, time. Well, no, in the beginning, I, you know, what <laughs> They they had called me uh, early evening, and it was a lunch show in London, which meant it was 3 a.m. my time. But it was Russell Brand, so what was I supposed to say? No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I would have hopped on. <laughs> sure, why the hell not? And he was in a position, where, he was in that state of mind where he, he basically told the producers, he says, you can give me any topic, I'll go in blind, I'll go in cold. He goes, I don't even want to know who it is before they, they you know, I'll read the text as I'm, inter you know, as I'm introducing yeah. him. And I was going for, I don't know, a good five, ten minutes. I was just, you know, boom, 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 boom. And then all of a sudden he realized, remember it's Russell. He's a very talkative guy. Right. And, and all of a sudden he realizes, like, holy crap, this is my show. <laughs> comes in and the rest of the show was him basically doing funny voices and skits and, and crap like that. But I had him. I had him for a while. I didn't hear that part. Did he cut that out? Because I heard him talking nonsessantly and then introduced no, you. No, and they no, continue to talk incessantly. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. In the beginning, it was, it was, uh, it was me. Uh, so that, but that was mm. fun. And again, he, I'll take it. I, which is why I say yes to just about right. everything. I don't care. People have said, oh, you, why'd you do this? Or why'd you do that? I go, look, I will sit down in a chair and you can throw pies at me. Yes. <laughs> 10 minutes straight as long as i get to say flatter that's all I <laughs> so so like when i did the um that thing where uh you know the the campaign down in um, melbourne for for foolproof that was the name of the campaign it was oh you know they're making you know they're making fun of you i go dude i don't care yeah I go, right all, it's like me it's like oh yeah flat earth expert mock sergeant i'm going yeah hey great yeah. <laughs> hey, wait. Wait. It's like, oh, what are they gonna call me? Mean names and ostracize me for being a conspirator? Oh wait, that's been the last two years of my life. So I'm a little surprised I didn't catch more hell for that from the trolls. I thought the trolls would have used that all over the place, and they didn't. And, <laughs> by the way, it ended up getting here. Here's where it got weird. Where um, I'm in there, I'm in the big, the big room, you know, because there were other people shooting parts of that campaign, and there were some beauty queens that walked by, American beauty queens. You know, like Miss South Carolina. I'm going. Mm, no. I go. How do you? How did you get Miss South Carolina? I go. And they go. Nah, mate. She's Australian. I'm going. What? I go. I, 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 he goes. They all are. And I go. And, and I look at the call sheet. And I, I'm the only non-actor on the sheet. And I go. Why am I here? <laughs> exactly. You could have had people <laughs> pretend to be flat earthers. That take two seconds. You know, just dress them up in a funny hat and a t-shirt, piece of cake. I don't think and, they sell crazy as hard as us. And he goes, uh, he goes, the owners wanted to meet you. The owners were, were one of us. And uh, oh. they, they didn't want to say anything. They just want, I mean, I didn't even have dinner with them. You know, I shook hands, talked to them in the lobby for a bit, and then they go off camera and they, they watched everything via remote, uh, uh, via video. It's like, wow, spent quite a bit of money to bring me down. But, uh, <laughs> watch yeah. me on your screen again. Yeah, yeah. The platform, though, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it was totally yeah. where, and Dave Weiss, I think it was one of his friends, <laughs> called him up. It was. It was. This was the part that was worth it for me. He goes. He goes. A bus went by. And he goes. He goes. Why is Mark Sargent on the side of a bus? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah. That's what I like to see. Dude, the first debate I did on like McToon seventeen thousand people. I was like, you know what? Even if I look like a dumbass, if I wear this shirt, yeah. mission accomplished. Yeah. You know, for me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What, you what, can, well done. <laughs> you, can, you can do. So much as long as and, and some people they just want to get a rise out of you. I mean, like the right, the, most of, the of them do. Some of the brutal, yeah, because they want a soundbite that's that's really good. 
you know, they, they'll sit you down for 40, 45 minutes and they're waiting for you to snap. Yeah. You know, they're waiting for you to all of a sudden, you know, jump out of character and, and say, Donald Trump is the reincarnation of Jesus. Right? And you sneeze <laughs> and it sounds like Q and they go, oh, I got you. Yeah, <laughs> you know, what, what, what do you think what clip they're going to use? That's, that's what they're going for. They, there was a guy down in um, uh, New Zealand who grilled me in the freaking sun for 45 minutes. Asshole. <laughs> And he's in the shade, and I knew what he was doing, right? He's hit me, and he just stops. He goes, he's cut, cut, cut. He goes, look. <laughs> he goes, trying to get you to. He goes, I'm using profanity on you. I'm calling you names. He's going. He goes, I need something, right? I'm going. I'm going. Why? I go. I go. I don't, I'd be a hypocrite if I did. I have no, to I care about your opinion to get flustered by your interest. I don't know what you yeah. mean. <laughs> and then, and then I felt bad because he got the conference promoter who was local down there. And he he rolled her in like five minutes. <laughs> we got <laughs> he, he's working on it, working on it. All of a sudden, she just loses. It's like, let me tell you a little something about everything. Yep, done. <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, That's Craig the Fight the Flat Earth does that. Except I'm so nonchalant and let it roll off me that he had nowhere to put his anger. And by the middle of it, he was attacking his own subs. I was like, oh, just sit here and wait. Whenever you're done, you yeah. know, like I don't feed into any of that. And when you don't, it has nowhere to go. They fucking implode. <laughs> I, I have been so fortunate in that most of the people that talk to me want to talk to me. You know, they're they're not, right. uh, you know, I don't have to call them. P opposed to like David Weiss. <laughs> and people is like, oh, you know, David's doing more interviews than you. I go, yeah, yeah. But he's got people that are basically calling every podcast that there is, right? They're he's just calling everybody. And some of these podcasts, they don't want to do Flatter. But all of a sudden they're like, hey, you know what? I'm in a bad mood. <laughs> I want to yep. vent on somebody. Yep. It's going to be this guy. And David walks into just buzz saws sometimes. Yeah, uh, but he nails yeah. it. Like, dude, the reason I asked him to talk to me was because I saw him doing this awfully Irish podcast of like eight subs with like four videos and had like three what? views. And I'm like, if he talks to these fuckers, he might talk to me. You know, let me ask him. <laughs> and that was how we started. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't I don't generally don't try to vet anybody before I talk to them, but every once in a while I will uh, just to just to see. well just see if they're trolls. Yeah, but, right. uh, you Did you figure that we were trolls a little bit? No, no. Is there more fun talking to flat earthers or globe earthers? <laughs> well, it, it really very. I mean, there are some people. The, the curious are, are by far the most fun. You know the, hmm. the the flat. You can see flat, the the seed come, yeah, yeah. The flat like. curious because you can tell in their head. It's like I want to know more. You you can tell it's like I'm kind of there, but I have one to forty five questions. <laughs> long, 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 really need right. For, for people that kill me, it's like okay, we're gonna we're gonna do a flat Earth thing. We're gonna cover everything about flat Earth in in nineteen minutes. I was going what? Yeah. How are you gonna pull yeah. that off? I go. Weiss does that though. And we've, uh, we've, I've even done things where um, the producers, you can run long if the producers like you. And uh, right. where all of a sudden I can hear in the background, it's like, just let him go. Just let him go. Keep, keep him going. Keep him going. <laughs> like, all right. It's like, you're going to give me some extra minutes? I'll, I'll talk. Right. Radio, it's all so. views and media and all that good shit. Yeah. But Weiss Radio. does that, dude. He, he makes the arguments in an hour, every hour, every show he goes on, right? Yeah. I watched so many of those before I was like, like he came on shows that I was watching, like Brian Young from High Impact Flicks, watching him before it was nuts. Yeah, and he came on his show. He did a two-hour special, and that guy rolled the fence like nothing else. I don't know how he did that, but at the end of that, I was like, "Well, shit." He made a lot of good points. You ever what? you ever come over to England? Oh, have I? Yeah. Do, do you ever come? Are you planning oh, yeah, on yeah, coming yeah, over yeah, to yeah. England? Yeah, In fact, a funny funny story. Um, so I came over and did part of the Globe Lie tour for a bit. Um, and I flew, I think, to just just about every airport in the uk except for scotland for whatever reason um because i was just jumping around you know doing you know i did a conference and i was doing meeting them up at, at different activism sites and then i left i did the conference there and then i left and this is back in uh 2019 right and then i got called almost immediately after i got back and said hey can you come and do the philip and holly show and i said right Okay, I don't know who they are, but sure. Why the hell? Because <laughs> right. uh, what I know about British that's mainstream British. shows. That's every day. That is. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, thanks. And so, <laughs> and so I came over and did the Philip and Holly show, and and that was awesome. That was when, he, by the way, when he just came out, and people, yeah, yeah, you know, so, and he, yeah, like when yeah. he quit the first time, mm. and and so that was kind of fun. And then I leave again, and I got home. I mean, things could, 2019 we could do no wrong at all. Right. 
Um, and then I, I get I get home and then somebody calls me and they said, oh, yeah, I saw you up Philip and Holly. How would you like to come over for pancake day? Okay. What's, what, pancake. what the hell's pancake day? <laughs> okay, it's it's French day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we eat pancakes. It's like, all right. What? And, and it's like, yeah, yeah. We're going to shoot a McDonald's commercial with you in pancake day over in London. It's like, wow, that sounds awesome. And it's like, yeah, yeah. It should be totally cool. You couldn't even bring a friend. It's like, okay. So I was going to nice. bring her. And just before uh we we were booking you know the the plane tickets the that's when the borders closed <laughs> mm. like, oh you guys suck. no mm. i love i love the uk I, I love it i love it a lot um i i i i was seriously you know i you, when if you live in the states and you watch any p you know public pbs you know the yeah. pbs network you're gonna run into british television My yeah. dark. then later uh the bbc came out which is um bbc america yeah right which is you know that's how i got introduced to other other shows and but i didn't understand when i when i got over there part of my family's from there and it's like i i i don't know i really really dug it i really really yeah. dug it i mean america is america but you know i understand why we had the the connection between the two you know america's the ultimate spin-off <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. yeah we we were the the i and i totally get why they wanted to reclaim it you know three times <laughs> they even spun off shameless <laughs> yeah 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 it's, yeah oh yeah huh that's, that was a oh, yeah though. yeah we steal from each other we steal from each other all the, the time office. The demographics are so close like yeah. like um people don't remember if you're old enough to remember uh three's company for example yes. the television show. Yeah, yeah. that was a show in britain called man about the house yeah yeah and yeah. we st we stole that and set it in San Diego. Uh, that's the one of my favorite um, mind benders, because if you know um, Three's Cracker. Company over here, so okay. imagine this, right? John Ritter, the actor that played, right? John John Ritter, the actor in Three's Company, right? A gay man pretending to be straight for his fans because most of his fans were middle aged women, right? <laughs> Going in every day to work, playing. A straight man pretending to be gay so he can live with his two roommates. <laughs> it's just by just blew, blew my mind. Absolutely. Oh, it's imitating now. It's imitating now. It's imitating now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the recursive loop, wow. dude. <laughs> no, I, lo I love the UK. And I'm hoping to get back over there soon. I just don't know what the the, the border restrictions are going to be like. Yeah, yeah. They, I reckon they'll be lifting soon. But I, I was I was leading to a question. So you haven't you haven't had a UK conference for a while then? No, our last one was in uh, 2019, and right. it was run by uh, Robin and Roxanne, and I think I think Dave Mannell was there, uh, Dave Murphy was there. Oh, a whole bunch of other people were there. I can't remember the town. It was I mean, it was just this whirlwind tour of yeah, uh, you yeah, know, driving around and but, yeah. flying around, and it was it was awesome. It was I, I loved it. But yeah, yeah, we're hoping to do something. The only thing we've been doing up there recently um, is more street activism. But they did do a Globe Lie. Uh, tour, a little van tour with street activism a couple months ago because I know right, I promoted okay. it on my channel. But no, I think next to the US, the UK's got to probably got to be the strongest. Yeah, uh, but there, there are, there's pubs around here, uh, well, uh, uh, over Glastonbury Way where they've got signs that says no flat earthers, it's insane. <laughs> have, have you gone in there and drank? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't been there for a while, but I'll be going uh, in there. To, I've got to buy a few pints for the flat earthers that do drink there. Right, you got to be like, listen, guys. I called you an asshole. Turns out you were right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna drink some humble pints. The most intimidating interview I ever did. It was the only time I ever got intimidated. I always said that I, that Joe Rogan would intimidate me. Not now, not after I know the, what I know about Joe. Right. But 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 the most intimidating one, believe it or not, was uh, Piers Morgan. Right. Yeah. I bet. That guy is a what? What would be a term on your side? He's a right wanker. He is. Yeah, he's a <laughs> wanker. Yeah, yeah. He's, uh, yeah, he is. He is not fun. And I was so worried because I've seen him destroy politicians. You know, just yeah. really go after people. And and all of a sudden it's like, oh yeah, you're gonna do a thing. Pierce Morgan. I'm going, oh shit. But I yeah, had to yeah. say, okay, I'll say yes. So what happened? Did you hold your own? Yeah, Ten times the um, fee. <laughs> what, the, the audio for it's still out there. I couldn't put it on my channel because of copyright issues. But what happened was they blindsided me. That's a big shock. Just before the show, they said, oh, yeah, by the way. So I was coming in via Skype. They weren't right. going to fly me in for it. Um, and they said, and probably deliberately. And they said, oh, yeah, by the way, uh, Terry Virts, one of the American astronauts, he's going to be sitting next to... Uh, <laughs> Good, I'll make faces at him. Going mean. off his, his picture book of, of images he shot from the from the space station. I'm going, 
okay, this is going to go well. <laughs> so then Pierce's, Pierce's mission was to see if he could get Terry and I to fight. Right. right. So like, yeah, flat earther versus an astronaut. Yeah. And at one point, and I, you know, I had done enough of these sort of in different fashions where like, okay. And at one point he said, you know, he was saying, you know, are you sure you're an American? Because I was poking in front of the Americans and stuff. And, and he goes, and he said, are you calling Terry a liar? Right. <laughs> and I, I go, no, I'm not calling Terry a liar. Terry, it was Terry's birthday, by the way, that day. And I oh, looked geez, it up, fuck. I did my research and I knew. <laughs> so I, I actually wished him a happy birthday just as the interview started. And, and like, oh, the, the boy. was like, ah, crap. Right. You know? Now they're not going to fight. Damn it. Yeah. He's not going to fight this guy. So um, I say, no, he's not a liar. I go, he's a military officer. I go, he's a full bird colonel in the United States Air Force. I go, you don't make it that far without knowing how to keep a secret. He's not a bad guy. He's just following orders. Yeah, Terry right. Said, like nothing. Terry's just sitting there just giving you that doe-eyed stare. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so you got to call him a liar without calling him a liar. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. That was yeah. cute. So I, yeah. So I just throw some hard balls at Terry, and then Piers was grabbing them and deflecting and going other ways. And you could tell. I mean, people don't get that the on-air talent, whoever's on screen is generally not – you know, not controlling anything. They've got earpieces. Yeah, they know yeah, they get in script all the time, but yeah. The producers are not. You know, there's a there's an old saying by um, was it Carrie Fisher, you know, Princess Leia, and yeah. she said that she Shut was up, asked, She was asked why, she was you know she was asking about reality television stars and are they hurting, uh, you know, acting, you know, hardcore actors, and she said she laughed and she goes, she goes no, you don't get it. She goes if it's on television, it's not real. That was is that even reality television shows are scripted to no end, right? And even even stuff like when I did that um, that National Geographic thing, I I kid with people. I say I met the female interviewer for the first time six times. Yeah, meaning it's yeah. like she walked up to me. It's like, oh, let's find Mark Sargent. Hey, it's Mark Sargent. Hey, oh, I didn't go. Hold on. Read okay, it. well, let's shoot <laughs> that from over here. Yeah, there was a bird. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay, we'll yeah. this way. And so we shot it from different angles and, yeah. and different, you know, different settings. And that happens all the time where they will just edit their Mark Twain said it the best. He goes, never let the truth get in the way of a good story. Hmm. Yeah, every time, yeah. every time. Yeah. And, and that's what, and that's what happened. So, so no, the, the, the Pierce Morgan thing, they tried to turn it into a fight. It wasn't going to be a fight. And yeah. my goal and, and the, and the community was mad at me. This was had to have been at least four years ago now. The community was mad at me. It's like, why didn't you just attack? Why didn't yeah. you just launch? That doesn't do it's shit, like, guys. Look, look, you fraud bastard. Right. You know, you're, not, yeah. you're not an astronaut. You know, you're, you're well, we believe some of them actually think they went to space, right? I mean, they might be that retarded. Yeah, but, we don't know. What did you say to the community, though? But the community was upset because I wouldn't attack, but I tried to remind them. I go, no, no, no. If I would have been there in person, it would have been different. But I was coming in on video. If you yeah. had a producer on their finger on a big red button and a mute too time, <laughs> yeah all they have to do is say you know in the middle of my speech was like let me tell you sir you know <laughs> yeah. next thing you know they'd be like oh we seem to have lost mark we'll try to get him back after the commercial right, right. yeah and nailed it <laughs> and the other thing <laughs> is that you don't want to ever do that because producers talk to each other all the mm. time where it's so right. So, so a producer will call another producer and say, "Hey, what'd you think of that guest?" Right? Yeah, and they say, right. "Oh yeah, he seemed to be a pretty nice guy. Yeah, well, yeah you should bring him on. He's right. he's no trouble." So uh, yeah, I, they I, offer I, you fat fees in that as well. Uh, uh, well, no, you get you don't get paid for that. No, you know, right. you get no, no, not for like like even Philip and Holly didn't pay. Now they'll pay really, you know, really. They didn't. Uh, they paid for you to come over, but yeah, so, they paid so, for me to come over. It's like, look, yeah. I'll take the trip, and and if I want to stay an extra day, you know, which I did, which is fine, and you know, pay for the hotel and all that. Crap. Right, nice. Oh yeah, so so you get a perk out of it, yeah, but yeah, there's yeah, no yeah. wedge, I mean, right? Yeah. Now I am sure there are, you know, actual celebs that will charge. You know, if someone wants to, you know, an actor, it's like, oh no, well, I'm not it, going it, on it, your it, show. It, it's mad. To, I'm sorry <laughs> to talk over you, over you, mate, but it was I, I was watching um, uh, uh, this. Uh, she was a comedian she was brought in as a comedian and it was a debate there two people on talking they, they basically it was a bait and bait up two people like they just did to you with this astronaut as you in your story right. yeah and the thing is like they got this bird like, it was like she's a feminist it was a feminist versus uh uh kerry jane 
the, the British uh, a full female full female adult human being is a woman. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so so uh, and they got this feminist alleged comedian to come on, and the, straight away she 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 was triggered. Yeah. And she got chucked up. That she can't. She she actually hung up on the Skype. She goes, oh, I'm not putting up with this. Yeah. And the the producer must have phoned her back. Yeah. And the producer <laughs> must. This is hilarious. Yeah. I, I I put it up on video. I made a video out of it. Yeah. Yeah. Because the producer. So the 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 the, the, the talent has gone right. Oh, we got her back online. Bang. <laughs> yes, mate. Yeah. So Sweet. so 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 when when you were just talking, then I was just like thinking like, wow. So do you, do you get paid or not? Because like there's going to be a lot of people out there who who would think, ah, oh, if you're a shill, you're getting proper dollar for for doing any of this stuff when you go overseas. So right, you don't, right, then, right, right. no, no, not, <laughs> no, no. I've never gotten paid for an interview. Now I've gotten paid for for an endorsement, you know, right. for for a product thing, but no, never for an. In fact, there was never even really a discussion for it. That, um, that's good to know because like they because like i said if this bird she, she's in the trade anyway as a, as a comedian she does a bit of writing as well so yeah. she's obviously got a got an agent who's touting her out like you know what i mean oh yeah that here's your professional feminist comedian like you know what I mean? <laughs> and, and by the way that's why they will call you back and so if you're not getting paid they're not calling you back if you hang up you're done but yeah. if you're getting paid they will try to call you back because well you know they're getting some money out of it in fact not to say that this would never happen but i'm sure their producer would be like okay you're gonna hang up at least once during this right, right. yeah because yeah. it, yeah, it will, right. will add more drama people they love nothing more than to uh to have have people fight uh, yeah. it's entertainment. well yeah what? that's what that's, a, that's entertainment that's what they're at yeah, for it is, it is a, you know no, the number one rule of show business has never changed over the centuries which is give the people what they want and the people want freaking drama and yeah uh, yeah which is why like like during the, <laughs> the documentary they were adding you know they were creating drama where there really wasn't that much drama mm. um you know like creating the relationship between patricia and i like like it was happening in real time it's like no patricia and i dated briefly a year before that but when we were shooting it's like they they edited it the way they did it's like so people were asking me all the time oh, it's, like, yeah, so, it's easy to edit anything up mate you can make anything look like anything really yeah, getting it yeah, or 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 you know, make Bob look like he's hiding something, or make Nate Thompson look crazy, uh, mm. or or Matt Boylan look like he's you know just this dominating you know. Well, he actually was, but, <laughs> but, but the other people, oh yeah. The power of the power of editing is amazing. The the National Geographic thing, which I love so much, where you know we shot this. The, oh, like, mate. The yeah, sorry. So, dude, your epiphany hurt my head. Graphic thing is the, because I just saw a video on BitChute. Sorry, I'm new to your stuff, like yeah. That's all right. Uh, that's the one where they went out on a boat with the with the raft uh, with stripes, the sign. Yeah, yeah. The and I, I watched the video, and because they they it was a, an optical illusion on the stripes as well, because there was no white stripe at the bottom. Right, right, right. Yeah. So, but, but that so, was their backup. Yeah. That was yes. that was the backup. The original footage, which they didn't even show, and we yeah. live streamed the whole five seven hours of it in the baking sun. It was horrible. Which <laughs> was um, which was we were shooting nine miles across the water. Yeah, and they were basically gonna. They had a balloon, a helium big big set of balloons on the other side, and they were gonna raise it up until we saw it. The yeah. problem was is that we saw it when it was on the beach. <laughs> with our cameras and where and because they didn't know where to spot it because the the desert looked kind of similar they they didn't even know where to aim you know nine <laughs> miles is pretty far away yeah so they're they're looking over there and it's like oh yeah we got it and they're looking back and it's like what are you talking about you got it it's like yeah no we're got it. it's right over there <laughs> yeah. and they realized <laughs> you know and they shot all this footage and, and, and we knew full well it's like they're never going to be able to use it they're never going to be able to spin this in a way to make it look like it's an experiment that, that goes in their favor so their backup plan was to get a guy in a raft with a little tiny battery powered motor and yeah. go out to the middle of the lake and shoot you know holding this <laughs> thing of stripes and that was yeah. the story right, yeah. <laughs> wow and we, we streamed the whole thing um right live. right right brilliant because I, I i literally only saw this last night yeah, yeah. I, got, I got back from work and i was like and i just saw something and there's a, a channel called fire rock and it was somebody critiquing what what was not noticed but like it's good to know that that so they, they used the shot the, the, the their only bit 
which yeah. was that back the only thing they could. There. And and you yeah. notice with the boat, they never said how exactly how far it was. They didn't say how big the sign was. They never give any measurements because the public is just dumb. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, uh, to to be fair, it wasn't a field producer. What they do is they send a camera team out, field producers, and they shoot as much footage as possible, and then they send all the footage back to New York or wherever headquarters is, and yep. they edit it up, and then they're those guys, the final producers, is like, okay, we can use this, we'll use this, we'll use this, and and hope it plays. And yeah. also, we were just lucky the segment got made at all because <laughs> right. they um they they didn't even want to. Uh, 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 so you know, there was there was there was much to, stream. There was much, yeah. There was yeah. Plus, yeah. Plus we, plus that segment didn't even come out for like four months. Yeah. You know, after we had shot, I mean, Jaron had. Um, <laughs> I remember Jaron had uh, Skiba live oh, yeah, stream, that, yeah. live live stream the whole thing. Uh, I felt I felt bad, but I will say this. You know, even though I miss Rob Skiba a lot, uh, there was this part where I was really ticked off at media, and this is where I knew how far you could take it. Where. Uh, I was there and I was talking to National Geographic and Jaron was supposed to be there talking to CBS. Right. And Jaron didn't show. He always I, 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 it's like, He dude, always does that apparently. I know. It's like, dude, it's a free C national interview. Why are you not here? And it's like, ah, yeah. Yeah. Fine, fine, fine. fine, fine. Me. So they, they asked him. <laughs> yes. I mean, he didn't even have good, good excuses. It's like, dude, you are in California. You're just a city <laughs> but We're all like antisocial. That. That's how we started this. It's okay, dude. <laughs> I found this, right? And uh, he goes, um, well, anyway, so CBS comes to me and they say, uh, all right, we need, we need someone to replace Jaron. It's like, what, what am I, an agent? And it's like, uh, we'll use that guy, Rob. You know, <laughs> Fuck. The guy's being swarmed by all these people. Rob's here, but he's sitting right there, right? And they and they look him up on the internet and they're going, "No, nah, he's too churchy. We, we can't." We can't. <laughs> I'm going, oh, "Fine." Right. I go, and, and I, I I I'm trying not to belittle her when I say this. It's like, well, how about Patricia? She's right here. She's <laughs> camera ready. Her makeup, everything's. You don't even have to do hair and makeup. She's perfect. Get her yeah. on there. And uh, they set her down for 40 minutes. They tried to work her over uh, on a picnic table and, and tried to get her to slip up. She didn't. She was absolutely flawless. Yeah. And uh, they, put, they put it on, you know, on their site. It was the showcase piece of, of a CBS Sunday morning. And they, they put it on, on the internet. I've still got it on my channel. Yeah. And it got a million hits really, really fast. And then, and then nothing. <laughs> CBS is an older audience. Somebody messaged them or wrote probably handmade letters. You know, the church muffin club lady. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they wrote yeah, yeah. her and they said, or they wrote, they wrote the station. They said, we don't know if this topic deserves your consideration. Blah, blah. We're going to pull all eight members. You know, <laughs> eight viewers, and I'll be damned if they didn't pull it off, the, off of YouTube and off their archives. Wow. And it's gone. You cannot yep. see. It's like that show didn't even exist. That makes and, sense uh, to me, dude. Really, you know, Par for the course. Yeah, hey, I, I gotta go pretty soon. Uh, yeah, I was gonna I say, gotta, it's I been gotta, a good two hours, so we, we maximize do this. <laughs> yeah. Do you guys have any uh, outstanding questions, thoughts? Final questions for Mark, anyone? Yeah, yeah. anybody got anything that they're dying to know? No, you covered everything for me, Mark. It's thank been a great conversation, work, dude. Honestly, so, yeah. <laughs> right, th Thanks. thank you very much. Hey, for, hey for let, me, let me that. let me. I want to ask real quick. Um, wait, it's Psycho Drilla, right? Yeah, Psycho Drilla. Where are you? Uh, I'm in Wales. Oh, cool. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, in the I, UK. I, but, yeah. yeah, yeah, I know where Wales is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 sorry, mate. Sorry. Thanks. I, I, well, no, no. I know I say that because I, I was a big fan of um, Doctor Who, which shot oh, me too. Uh, um, almost entirely in freaking Wales. It. Yeah. And Torchwood, which was, which was even sent. They weren't even shy about it. It's like, no, no, Torchwood's in Wales. That's all yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah, yeah, so, uh, yeah, and Yanto and all of that, like, yeah. Educating Mark on geography, the, thanks, Psycho. I, I met, uh, <laughs> oh, the, I met the master in the 1980s. Uh, you did at, at not. Yeah. Dude, the guy who played the master, the uh, yeah, nemesis well, of Doctor the, the Who? Original, the original cool. master with the black, with the goatee beard like mine. And oh, yeah. man. Yeah. <laughs> very, very cool. Um, uh, Cracker, where are you? You can just say a state if you want. You don't have to. West Virginia. West Virginia. Jeff, where are you? He's in Florida. He's always listening. Oh, okay. <laughs> Shane, is in, Shane is in. Northeast, so Massachusetts. And Boston. Bella is in. Texas. 
we're yeah, all you got a pretty diverse group of flat earthers here man <laughs> that's awesome that's awesome well anyway um if you guys need anything it's again really easy to find me just you know my email my phone number physical address can't believe i took a shot and you were like sure oh, i was no. like no shit <laughs> i mean if i got time sure i'd be, I'd be happy to but no i'm you know me. I'll talk to. I'll we talk appreciate to you. it. We like to sit around and get everyone else's perspective on things. I think we like flat Earthers more than Glovers. That's just I me. think we, this is <laughs> the group, if I'm not mistaken, that uh, that didn't didn't you say, hey, would you like to talk to Mark Sargent? And at the end of the video, and there's this big pause at the end, and and it was like, yeah, I guess. Yep. <laughs> yep. That was yeah, I caught it live time. <laughs> We like, were thanks, doing... for the, thanks for the enthusiasm. <laughs> <laughs> we, do, we, we, we were having an epiphany over Star Trails, and I'm like, oh, Mark Sargent said yes. And I didn't get the amount of gratification, so I said, well, fuck it, I'm doing it. So if you guys don't want to come with me, like, that's cool. <laughs> I like, oh, no, 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 no. I'm shy because when you get a, a bigger person on here that's, you know, more well-known, we get a little shy about it. Oh, we... no, 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 no. I was, I was worried because I'll, I'll leave you with a story. Which and I just didn't know who you are. Awesome. So. Just like, I, <laughs> okay, I was walking, that's where I'm at on. That. <laughs> I'm up on I'm up on Whidbey Island, right north north of Seattle, and this is a, you know a fairly small island. And I was walking carrying dirt, you know, for one of my family members, and there was a construction guy not even 50 yards away, and he looks at me, right, and he starts clocking me. I'm going, oh crap, what's going on here, right? And uh, next thing you know, he's walking over with his cell phone. And he goes, you, you're the guy. And, and I go, I'm the guy? He goes, yeah, you're the flat earth guy. He goes, you're Mark Sargent, right? And I go, I go, yeah. He goes, he goes, hey, man, I just want to let you know in advance. He goes, I, I want a selfie, but I want to let you know in advance. I, I, I've got to apologize. I go, for what? He goes, well, I've, I've put a lot of bad things in, in comments on your, on your video. <laughs> I'm going, why? Why would you, why say, would you do that? Well, he goes, I, I, he goes, I gotta be honest, he goes, I'm an Eric Dubé guy. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, man. See, that's the division nonsense. Like, come on. Yeah. Well, I, well, there's a happy ending. He goes, Everybody has something to offer. You know? He goes, but I didn't think you were real. He goes, <laughs> he goes, I thought you were just an agent that made videos somewhere. And you just, and it's like, but here you are walking around carrying dirt. <laughs> go, right? Yeah, well, yeah, I'm a real guy. If you only yeah. listen to Dubai, that's what you'd get. He's a yeah, fake guy. Exactly. <laughs> it's awesome, man. Super, super cool. And so, no. So, yeah, with, uh, that's why I was a little worried about it. I was going, oh, man, are they Eric people? No, no. Do we listen to everyone? That's the thing. And, like, for my discernment, I'm like, I listen to both of them. He doesn't sound like he's gatekeeping universal flat of knowledge or misleading um, me in any certain way. So, I got nothing, dude. <laughs> like, and the yeah. reason the reason why I ask all your locations is I'm getting drone strike coordinates right about. <laughs> Bring it. <laughs> the, um, no, no. If, if I got the shotgun talk, loaded you... and ready for it. <laughs> <In> Florida. <laughs> uh, we, you... we make a pentagram. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all the locations when you map them out. <laughs> yep, Jeff's coordinates are kind of fuzzy. I don't know what sort of IP thing you're using, but that's all right. We'll we'll get you. My IP is wide open. <laughs> no. There ain't no firewall over here, and I'm a tech guy. I don't give a crap. Let right. those CIA babies in. Balls here. on the outside at this point. If, if, um, <laughs> if there's anyone that you guys want to talk to, if you if you ever want to watch anything, and and uh, you're saying, hey, it'd be great to talk to this person, and you don't know how to reach them, you know, because they don't have their contact, just shoot me a thing. Absolutely, um, man. I don't uh, know how to get a hold of them. Uh, well, no, I, I'll either get a hold of them directly or I'll find somebody that does. Much uh, appreciated. Dude. I think I want to talk to Karen B. She's very elusive. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, I can get you hooked up with Karen B. That'd be sweet. Yeah, <laughs> She's like my, my other idol. I'll, I'll make it happen. Nice. Right. Thank you very much, and, Mark. And by the way, are, are you posting?